Sherry. I'm your host for today's Traders Exclusive Strategy Series webinar. Today, we're going to be able to learn how to spot big trends before they happen. We're going to look at how to trade patterns to keep your losses small and let your winners run. We're going to learn to decrease your stops and increase your profits. And we're going to discuss the role of divergence. Please check out uh, tradersexclusive.com. That's where we post our articles and video clips with valuable trading tips and techniques. And that's also where you're going to find a recording of today's webinar. So if you have to leave early or you come in late, we do have a replay. I'm going to be welcoming Silas Peters, Barry Burns, Simon Joseph, and Joshua Banner today. Uh, we have a great lineup for you. Uh, before we get started, you know what I got to do. We got to share the disclaimer. And the disclaimer in essence says you should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time. This is a teaching and education um, platform, and past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Please do take notes, write down your questions, and hold them until the end. Um, add a little context so that we know what you're talking about so that the presenter can go back to where they were. I'm sure they'll know. Um, but now, without further ado, I'm going to be bringing you Silas Peters of Seasonal Swing Trader. He's talking to us today about the ripple effect and how to be first in line for huge moves. And uh, that was one of the things that I picked out was to spot big trends before they happen. Um, Silas has been an active trader for over 12 years, focusing on equities, comp commodity futures, currencies, and options. He began working on a global trading desk at the CB, uh, the Chicago Board of Trade, right out of college, executing, executing trades for hedge funds, banks, institutional investors, and high net worth individuals. Forgive my tongue tiedness. And in addition to working on various trade desks, He's managing and executing trades in the U.S., European, and Asian markets. He has helped build and manage several futures and equity brokerage firms, handling day-to-day -day operations, trading risk, and support. He's also worked as a fi private family office investment consultant and managed fixed income and equity portfolios within trust and asset management banking units. He currently holds or has held Series 3, 7, 30, 34, 65, and 66 Securities and Futures Licenses. Seasonal Swing Trader identifies historical seasonal trends and market cycles on up to 40 years plus of historical market data and delivers quality actionable trade ideas that put probability in your, in your favor. I was gonna say in your flavor. Welcome, Silas, how are you today? Hey, Sherry, I'm doing great. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, do you like to see your questions on the fly or do you like them held at the end? Uh, yeah, I, I don't mind uh, taking a look there at the questions. All right. Uh, all right. I will can everybody see up. my screen there? Not yet. Okay. There we go. Now you're there. We've got an ESH22 options chain in the middle of your actual slides, I think. There we go. All right, how about there now? There you go. That's perfect. Okay. And I believe now, everybody can I hear you because I can hear you good. Okay. All right, are we ready to get started, Sherry? Yes, sir. I'm going to be quiet okay. now. You take it away. All right, thanks so much, Sherry and the Traders Exclusive team. I appreciate everybody tuning in today. Another very active day here in the markets. We've got the S&P uh, up here at the highs at 43.90, uh, rallying uh, a good bit off of the volatility we've seen over the last uh, few sessions or so. What I'm really excited about uh, sharing with you today is this particular setup, strategy, system, whatever you want to call it, because it works in all market environments. There's a lot of fear right now with what's going on in Eastern Europe and for good measure. But the thing or the question I often get from so many people is, well, how does it work in these types of market environments, these types of high volatility environments? And the simple 
answer to that question is it works perfectly in this type of environment. In fact, we welcome it because I'm going to show you a strategy and a system that really thrives off volatility. It's not a requirement, but it really, when we have price moving, regardless of what you're trading, whether it's the S&P, NASDAQ, Dow, metals, currencies, bonds, uh, just equities, ETFs, anything, this strategy works and I'll show you multiple examples. So uh, let's do just a quick audio, uh, sound, uh, audio visual check, make sure uh, everybody can hear me. Type in a, a D in the chat, type a D in the chat if you can hear me and see my screen please before I get started. I know I think I'm limited to about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna go through this very quickly, ask all the questions you would like during the course of the presentation. I'm not ignoring anybody. I just really, it's very important that I share this strategy, share this setup that you can start applying today. You can literally start applying this here in the afternoon uh, markets uh, if you wish. Okay, so I think we're all good and golden. Well, let's not waste any time. My name is Silas Peters from Seasonal Swing Trader. I do want to say a quick welcome. I know everybody's got busy. Everybody has things that they could be doing. So I do appreciate you taking time out of your day to come learn a high probability strategy and what I'm gonna be sharing with you in just a few moments. We must always start with a risk disclaimer as required by the regulatory governing bodies and our attorneys. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Only risk capital should be used to trade. Only trade with capital you can afford to lose. We know trading is risky. Always consult with your tax or financial advisor before applying real capital in the markets. Now let's quickly come back and let me introduce who I am, why you should listen to me, uh, this is myself, my beautiful family, my two beautiful girls, my wife, and we love the outdoors. We love traveling to visit friends and family. We just enjoy uh, being outside. So this is just to show you that I am a real human being. I'm not a robot. I'm probably a lot like you. And there was a time, though, in my life where I worked 12 hours a day for a farm. I rarely got to see my girls, my wife. And it was no good. And one day I woke up and said to myself, enough, it's time for a change. That's when I decided to stop trading part time and make a living from the market. That was a total life changer for myself and my family. So how many people in here are looking for that? Looking for something to change your lifestyle, something that will give your life back. So see Adam, Marcus, Craig, Samantha, James, Sabid. Mohammed, J. Allen, yeah, of course you are. That is why you are here today. So let's talk about my journey quickly. In college, I majored in investment finance and economics. That's all good and great, but I had no idea where that was going to send or land me. Well, fortunately, one of my dad's golfing buddies used to be an ex-wheat trader in the grain pits of Chicago. We were playing one golf one day. He was asking me about my plans, what I was going to do. And I had no idea. Well, he was telling me about his experience in at the Board of Trade, trading commodities, trading futures, trading options. I was immediately intrigued. I went back to school, started doing research on Chicago, the pits, the floor, stocks, options, futures. And I was just intrigued. So what did I do? Well, I did what any green just out of college, 23 year old with zero cares in the world would do. I sold my car three days after I graduated. I rented a U-Haul and I drove to downtown Chicago and I signed a lease right here on the 23rd floor of Marina City, also known as the Honeycomb Towers, right there overlooking the beautiful Chicago River. I was directly above Smith and Walensky Steakhouse, had House of Blues, had Harry Carey Steakhouse about a block behind me, although I could barely afford a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts down the street. Same day I moved in, I actually took the U-Haul truck back to its depot, hopped on an Amtrak, and I scalped a couple of tickets to watch the U.S. Open at Olympia Fields to chase Tiger and Phil around. So like I said, young and dumb, soaking up my new town with zero clue how I was going to make money. I was like a country singer moving everything to Nashville just to be in the town where it all happens. That was Chicago for me, and I had every intent on making my living from stock and commodity markets. Fast forward a few months later, I got a job working the Asian, European, and early New York session trade desk. If you remember me telling you I sold my car, well, this picture right here in the left corner of this poor dude walking in the freezing Chicago snow 
could literally be me walking to work at some time around 2 a.m. in the morning because that's when my day started. I can specifically remember walking down the middle of the cell street, nobody but me and a snowblower in the entire city of Chicago, looking up at the Board of Trade, the God of Grains or Ceres looking down upon me, and then getting into the Board of Trade and the temperature reading a solid negative something degrees. I'm from deep south Alabama here on the Gulf Coast, so all I know is heat and humidity. So I did this right here for a few years, working at the Board of Trade, handling some serious trade sides across the Board of Trade, the Merck, NIVOT, NYMEX, various London and Asian exchanges, trading for our hedge fund, banks, CTAs, everything from corn to copper to hogs, euro dollars, Japanese government bonds. It was an incredible learning experience, both with the markets and trading, as well as the Chicago big city life. So after I felt like I had maxed out learning from the four traders, I decided to take that learning experience and bring it back down south to my true home. I started living the corporate life. First, working in this glass building right here, managing equity and fixed income portfolios, then coming and working for a large trading firm in Alabama, and then coming over here and working in a private family office managing about two and a half billion dollars doing a hodgepodge of all of these items. But honestly, I was just not that happy. I still miss trading in the trading world. Me sitting in an office tied to a desk, looking out the window, and of course, dealing with your typical corporate red tape was just not in my blood. I wanted to get back to the markets, to the charts, to the trading. And while I was still trading during this time, I truly miss being in the weeds of the markets following the charts, doing the analysis and so on. So I left the corporate world and I started Seasonal Swing Trader. And it's here where I publish research, ideas and analysis to my followers. And it holds myself and our community accountable each and every day. But during this entire journey, there were certainly some painful lessons to be learned. I grew accounts, blue accounts, grew accounts, blue accounts. I learned I was not a trading God. I was not above the market. The market didn't care what my position was. And a damn sure didn't care about what I think I thought or think it should do. What does that mean? I meant blown accounts, emotional trading, acting like a gunslinger, poor risk management. But these are all battle scars. And in this workshop, I'm going to attempt to help you to think smart, think logical with a proven price action strategy and plan so you can avoid the many mistakes that I and I'm sure several of you have made or are making today. But let's talk about you. Why are you here? I assume you're here because you want income, right? You want to make money, supplement your day job, pay your bills, spend more money to buy things, take care of your loved ones. Is it passive income, retirement income, emergency funds? Post your why in the chat box for me. Let me see where you're at. So JT says passive income. Matthew says cash flow. Sam says life change. Rufalo says been trading and losing for too long. Mag says, had my current day job and then quit. Well, these are all very familiar to me. After working with thousands of traders over the past 15 plus years, I can tell you that you are not alone. For me, my why was that I had to make a change to find something that works, that I could rely on, a strategy, a process, a system that would create wealth for me to take care of my family, my children, our future. You're here today, so that's proof you're committed to change. Because in today's markets, as I said earlier, it's imperative to make certain we have a strategy that can trade both ways. We need to employ strategies that can profit during up markets, down markets, and sideways markets, and do all of this without guessing. I'm going to kick this off with some real chart examples of how I approach the market. But let's first take a look at Boeing, BA. And I don't want you to get caught up in the time frame, the type of chart. Just get out your pen and paper and let's walk through this exercise together. So this is a daily chart of Boeing, BA. Let me tell you how my quote unquote old self would look at a chart. Okay, so we're looking at a daily chart. We've got long term support. When we break support, we're likely gonna go lower. When we break support, it's time to sell the market. We sell the stock, we buy put options, we sell bear call spreads, okay? Time to sell, only to see this happen, a face ripper to the upside. Insert me throwing things, saying some four letter words loudly, 
how many people in here have been or experienced this? And TJ, Jackie, Luke, Davis, all the time, Andrew, Jason, Shelly, a lot of you know exactly what I'm saying here. Let's take a look at the same chart. Same daily chart of BA, but opposite situation. Okay, we've got long-term resistance, right? Long-term resistance, if we break this resistance, we're going higher. Well, we get a large bullish candle break. Time to buy the market, buy call options, sell bull put credit spreads, right? Time to buy. Well, we probably know what's coming next. Flips around, wham, reversed right on me. Buying high, selling low. That is not the way to make money for the markets. We all know that. I got sucked into the traps. I suffered these painful lessons, but that's why I'm so, so excited to be speaking with you today. Because after getting pummeled over and over and over again, taking bruises, spending thousands of hours on research, back testing, programming, et cetera, I feel that what I've discovered is one of the most powerful trading strategies that can literally be used by anyone. Even my wife, who's a real life ballet teacher, has zero knowledge of the markets. She gets it. She's watched a few short videos I made for some of my members. She said, she literally said, holy crap, Siles, this is easy, I get it. Now the goal, of course, is to make money. Selling at the highs, buying at the lows. That's how you make money. And what I'm about to show you will ultimately reveal how you can do it too. But first, let me show you the exact same chart, but with my secret sauce added. Here we're looking at the exact same chart of Boeing, BA, but with my TPI indicator. TPI sounds mysterious. It's called, it's turning point identifier. The turning point identifier is what I'm about to teach you here in just a moment, this exact methodology. So you can spot these turning points every single day. But let's first look at a few more examples. Here we have a chart of Tesla, but with my TPI indicator. Two trades plus 30%, second trade plus 26%. That may not sound like much, 30%, 26%, but think about this, $200, $300, it quickly adds up. Here is a chart of the diamond, DIA ETF. How would you like to know how you could have identified this sell signal in early January that basically called the market top? eight and a half percent move to the downside. I can almost guarantee you that if you're involved in an IRA or 401k plan or something of that nature, you're exposed to stocks, to Dow Jones stocks, i.e. the diamond, S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, would have not have paid you to possibly go to cash or and or short the market to capture that downside. Boring stocks like Verizon, I'm going to show you how you could have identified a buy here. I'll show you how you could have identified a sell here. Eight and a half percent, four and a half percent, five bucks here, five bucks there. That's five hundred dollars on a hundred shares. It adds up. And yes, it works on futures and commodity markets as well. This is a five-minute chart of crude. Five-minute chart. I'm going to show you how you could have identified this buy signal here identified to be a seller here. Do you see this? This first move was 149 ticks. This move was 110 ticks. You know what each tick is in crude? Each tick is $10 a tick. You do the math, that's $1,110. This is $1,490. Two trades on a five minute chart. Bitcoin. Whether or not you trade crypto, Bitcoin, I'm sure you, you follow it or you know where it's trading, calling the top back in November. This is not chump change. The top up here in November was around 69,000. We quickly made a 50% haircut, traded all the way down to 33. Where are we today? 44, 43, 44, 45, I'm not sure. But would it have not been valuable to know to maybe not only go to cash, but possibly reverse your position in Bitcoin, $36,000 move. Now, what was the purpose of me showing you those charts? Those moves where highs were being sold, lows were being bought. Why did I show you? Because they're opportunities, real opportunities and opportunities are only 
as good if you walk through the door. Those were key turning points in each of those respective markets, and they happen every single day in every single market in every single time frame. You just need to know what to look for. And that is exactly what we're going to be covering in this workshop, just like what some of these students here have discovered. This student, Mark, says the success rate is very high. It looks so promising. Every Nearly every signal yielded a winning trade or have positive expectancy. Are we going to have 100% winning rate? Of course not. If you know of a system or a setup that does, I'll give you my cell phone because I'd be interested in talking with you. This student here, Roger, works very well for me and is my top five indicators in my workspace. And then Llewellyn says, this gives the new trader the opportunity to be successful without spending years of trial with weak training packages. These students are not relying on Fox News, CNBC, Bloomberg. These students are following a proven strategy. They have a plan, they have a process, and that is exactly what I'm about to share with you. But before we take a deeper dive where I'm gonna show you this process, I wanna ask, are you committed? Because you need to decide right now what pill you're going to take. Will you choose to continue to flail around with unproven strategies? Or are you willing to step up to the plate and learn the process? If you want to be part of the few that actually does take action because they are serious, they are committed, then I'm going to make an offer to you that will help shortcut the time I spent developing my process so you can get on your trading path much, much sooner than I did. Here's the way I treat my life. A no is a no. A maybe is a no. A yes is not just a yes, but it's a hell yes. So say that out loud. Is it a yes, a no, or a maybe? Or are you going to be one of the select few that are action takers? If you are, then it's a hell yes. And if that is you and you are, are an action taker, then type a 77 in the chat. Type a 77. Because in trading, in my analysis, I want it to be a hell yes. I want to be confident. And if I'm going in, I'm going in 100%. And that's exactly what this strategy will help you with today. So I see Re Rebecca, Luke, TJ, Nick, Jasmine, Bentley, Jack, Michael, Matthew are all a hell yes. And if I offended anybody, you can say H-E double hockey sticks. That's what we have to say around my children. So you want me to show you the money, right? You want to know what the secret sauce is. You want to know how you can supplement your income. Take care of your family. Feel secure in your retirement. Well, let me show you the strategy, because regardless if you're a new trader or have been trading 10 plus years, you can do this. So are you ready to learn my high probability strategy? A simple, cut and dry, no BS strategy that you can start implementing today. This high probability strategy uses price action alone, plus one very common and basic indicator, along with a couple of pro tips to take advantage of sentiment and technical extremes. So let me show you the opportunities that happened with these recent setups. I'm going to show you exactly, this is a, uh, a, a one hour chart, 60 minute on the Aussie dollar. I'm going to show you how you could have identified to be a seller right there. I'm going to show you exactly how you could have identified to be a buyer right there. Just like in crude oil, each tick is 10 bucks. 180 ticks on leg one, 71 ticks on leg two. You do the math. Or you swing traders out there. I'm going to show you exactly how you would have known to be a buyer right there in Baba. Could you have bought the stock, bought call options, sold put options? Of course you could. Or another 14% move in CF. Exactly. I'm going to show you exactly how you would have known to be a seller right there. So let me prove to you how anybody can do this. The method and strategy we're going to be learning today is called divergence. Wow. Brand new concept, right? What is divergence? Who here has heard of divergence? Don't worry, it sounds technical, but I have you covered. Let's quickly discuss the context and then we're gonna dive into several charts. So divergence is when the price of an asset is moving in the opposite direction of a technical indicator, such as an oscillator or moving contrary to other data. Divergence warns us that the current price of the trend may be weakening and in some cases may lead to price changing direction. So basically we have an indicator and price being in disagreement using any relevant indicator such as MACD, RSI, it's an indication of a reversal or a continuation, but more often a reversal. Now, positive divergence occurs when the price is moving lower 
but a technical indicator is moving higher or showing bullish signals. Negative divergence occurs when the price is moving higher, but a technical indicator is moving lower or showing bearish signals. Why is it so important? Because it's the earliest indication of a reversal. It's usually a good sign to exit, a good sign to scale, and it means that we're usually buying near the bottom or selling near the top. Hint, hint, this means the risk on our trades are very small relative to our potential reward. Now, here's an example of regular bullish divergence. It's the most frequent and usually considered a sign of a reversal. So the price is making lower lows, but our oscillator is making higher lows. Low, lower low, low, higher low. We don't need a series of lower lows. We only need one low to be lower than the previous low. This can usually be found in your bottoms. Here we have regular bearish divergence. Also the most frequent, usually considered a sign of a trend reversal. When the price is making higher highs, high, higher highs, but our oscillator is making lower highs, high, lower high. It can be usually found in your tops. Let's talk about identifying trend strength and consider the following scheme here. At point one, buyers believe that a, maybe a trend has recovered or a new trend has begun and they want to make money. So what do they do? They open up long positions, they buy the market, and they drive the price higher. The trend is accelerating as more and more buyers are jumping into the market. At point two, buyers are starting to take profits. The trend starts to weaken. Buyers still dominate, but they calm down a bit because they're afraid the trend is coming to an end. Then we get to point three. No more buyers in the market. The sellers step in, the sellers begin to dominate and they reverse the trend to the downside. This right here is exactly what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna to learn to be a seller at point number three. Now the oscillator we were looking at on the prior slide was simply a tool, a tool found on every platform. These tools are used to help recognize trend and trend strength. Now, if we look at the same chart deeper, Notice we have two significant highs labeled A and B on the price chart, as well as in the corresponding window pane below. In the price chart, we see that B is higher than A. That means the price is still going higher. In the second pane, it's just the opposite. B is lower than A. It means that the trend has weakened and is likely going to reverse. And lo and behold, what happened? Market reversed and it sold off sharply to the downside. Now, any momentum indicator can be used. RSI, CCI, Stochastic, MACD, all these indicators are derived from price. There's really no better or worse indicator. It's really about preference. It does not matter what indicator you call your best friend. Every approach is equally good. So let's go back and focus on what matters, which is the concept of divergence. Now we previously defined divergence as a discrepancy between price and indicator movement. Note that we've now added the MACD to the chart. So when the price is making a new low, low, lower low, but our MACD makes a higher low, low, higher low, we have bullish divergence signaling that the trend is likely going to reverse. This is called classic or regular divergence. The black line, the price is sloping down, but the black line, the MACD is sloping up. Now, the depth of divergence is a bit more of a subjective term. When you look at this example, we see two divergence patterns, a bullish and a bearish. The first divergence is nice, but the second one does not look as promising because the two peaks or troughs on the MACD are not very significant. We consider a divergence to be deep if the MACD crosses the zero line. Such a divergence provides a much stronger signal for a trend reversal. Now, on this chart, we see two dip patterns. The first example is an almost double bottom, if you will, very choppy. The second example has more defined peaking action. When we peak right here, notice that the MAGI crosses the zero line, rises back up, forms a second peak, which is lower than the first, thus giving us our divergence pattern. And because it did cross the zero line, it means that we have a higher quality divergence pattern. Now let's discuss entries. There's a couple of different ways to, to uh, enter the market. And one is a sim simple enter on next candle open concept. So we have our low, we have our lower low, we have our low, we have our higher low. 
here's our divergence. We can enter on the next bar or candle open. So we wait for that divergence candle to close and then we enter the market on the next candle. Another method is to wait for a candlestick confirmation. That is where we wait for a bearish candlestick, bearish engulfing, bearish reversal, whatever it is for short positions, okay, to sell the market. Just the opposite for a buy. We wait for a bullish engulfing, bullish candle, and then we can enter for that extra confirmation. Now, how do we use this strategy with stop losses and risk management? By far the most important part of trading. One could argue all day the best place to put a stop, but let's keep things simple and objective. For a stop loss with this strategy, we can place it just above the bearish pattern plus a few ticks, pips, or points to act as a buffer. And then for buy trades, we place the stop minus uh, right below the bullish setup minus a few ticks, pips, or points. Acts as a buffer. Inch, or, excuse me, uh, exits. For profit taking targets, we target the next area of structure, next area of structure, next area of structure. Prices gravitate towards these areas of structure like a magnet. And you can see very clearly our risk to reward is overwhelmingly in our favor. This is probably a five to six to one reward versus risk. Same thing here. If we're putting our risk here or we're targeting here, we have a five maybe four, five, six reward versus risk. Let's recap everything we've learned up to this point. You've learned a high probability reversal strategy. You've learned where to enter, where to place risk, where to take profits. But how do you trade it? Have you ever wondered why the market turns against you when you jump on a promising looking trend? Because the most tempting signals are usually a trap. But divergence masters know how to enter in the opposite direction just before the trend turns. How, here's how you can do this. Keep it simple. Follow the two-step plan and process we just covered. Filter the unreliable div patterns and focus only on the strongest signals. And use a customizable indicator that can deal with this for you where the process of recognizing the divergence patterns in the chart are done for us automatically. And then we sit back, enjoy the various exit levels and find out what suits our trading style the best. Now, how do you physically do it? It just depends on your style of trading, but you can scalp on the tick charts, the one minute, two minute charts and so on. Trade intraday trade on the five, 10, 15, 30 minute or you can do intermediate to position trade on the four hour, daily, weekly, monthly, whatever fits your style. You can trade as many stocks, futures, ETFs, currencies, cryptos, anything that can be charted, any asset, any instrument that can be charted, this strategy can be applied. But be patient, avoid over trading, and remember the process pays. Respect the process because if you do, you will be rewarded. But how? Silas, there's too many markets, too many time frames. I don't have enough time and I don't have a plan. Well, I'm with you on this part. We just don't have enough time in the day to, to accomplish everything we want. But if this is you, you're kind of just flustered, don't know what market to look at, don't want no time frame to look at, you don't have a plan. Well, the good news is that we do have a plan. Now, you can sit and stay in this boat, have paralysis analysis, no focus, your scatter brain, no plan, no strategy, no process, and you continue to lose money. Or you are welcome to come over here on this side where you have a trading plan, you have a strategy, you execute that plan and strategy every day, and then you start to see yourself making money. And then it becomes a rinse and repeat process, all by following a plan and a process. Now, at the beginning of this training, I promised you that I would share a simple price action strategy that anyone could execute, whether you are a beginner or an experienced veteran trader. Up to this point, would you agree that our time together has been valuable? Can you see how this system will allow you to profit immediately? Do you see how little time and knowledge is really needed to trade and invest? In the beginning, I also promised you an opportunity, and it's called the Divergence Dominator Pro. 
we developed a time-saving solution so that traders can live their lives. Not worrying about scouring through thousands of symbols, dozens of time frames, or scrutinizing hundreds of charts trying to determine if what they are eyeballing is actually divergence or not. We now crack the code and we simplified the process. So here's what's finally going to work for you. Here's what's finally going to help break your habits of trading the old way and get you started to being able to trade the proper way, the profitable way, where you have a plan and you have the process. So you can capitalize on setups like this. Two trades here in the E-mini S&P on a 10-minute chart. Two trades. Could you have identified this bullish divergence buy signal, followed by a second bullish divergence buy signal? This one was good for 20 points. This one was good for 28 points. Look at one of my students recently posted. This is someone that was on the fence, someone probably in your shoes at one time struggling. Had no plan, no strategy, no process, but has now found that with DD Pro. And it is ideal for swing traders. It's because of DD Pro and the TPI indicator that I'm able to find opportunities like this in Visa. Who here could have traded this? Who understands what is going on here? We have a bullish divergence buy signal. We buy the market. We have another bullish divergence buy signal. We buy the market. You could have bought the stock, bought call options, sold bull put credit spreads. Folks, on any market, any time frame, and I'm going to show you proof with what I've done here today in just a moment. But let's not waste any time. Let's get right to the opportunity I shared with you. It's Divergence Dominator Pro. You're going to get lifetime access, one time single payment of $797. The offer link is seasonalswingtrader.com forward slash TPI. And I just put that into the chat box for you. Just put that into the chat box. And I think that went to just the organizer. So there we go. So you're going to get the TPI indicator for the following platforms. Thinkorswim, TradeStation, NinjaTrader 8, TradingView, WealthCharge, and MT4. We've also built the scanner to find these TPI bullish and bearish setups on Thinkorswim, TradeStation, NT8, WealthCharts, and MT4. So if you're an action taker and you sign up today, not only are you going to get the TPI indicator that can literally change your trading career, you're also going to get the scanner. This scanner is running for me around the clock and finds opportunities every single day scanning across my favorite markets and watch lists to find and alert me to setups like this. Another trade in the euro currency. 10-minute chart of the euro currency, finding a bullish setup, finding a bearish setup. Two trades, 15 points apiece. That's $375 trading just two contracts. Literally just a couple of trades a day. You can be done. You can walk away. One student that I've been communicating with is almost having a rebirth into the world of trading as it relates to what his success has been. He's been taught so much junk, so much useless information. He's erasing his brain and unteaching his old self, his bad habits, and now finding success with the process. Sometimes I'm not at my desk. I'm at a school function. I'm at lunch, traveling. This is where I really let the DD Pro do the heavy lifting. I'm letting the DD Pro scanners scan across the higher time frames, such as the four hour, the daily, the weekly, so I can find high probability swing trades. I put the trade on, I walk away, no more babysitting. So what is all of this work? With all of those examples, all of that proof, what would that be worth to you? If you could profit in any market condition, you can anticipate major market reversals and turning points in real time, you can now trade on your time, whether you're a scalper, day swing, or position trader, and you now had all the tools. You got an indicator suite, scanner suite, videos, training guides, and direct access to me. You can email me at any time. I will answer you personally. I also have a support team that can do a remote session, install these indicators and scanners for you. But DD Pro does all the hard work for you. You no longer have to guess where to enter or where to set your stop loss or take profit. So I often get asked, how do you trade these setups? The easy answer is it all depends on the setup. My overall outlook, 
the risk reward on the setup, but I like to trade uh, credit spreads. I'll trade debit spreads. I buy and sell the, the minis and the micros uh, on futures and FX, and I trade a lot of options, and I'll day and swing trade. But what or how I really, uh, what I trade really should not concern you, or you should not be concerned with Billy, Susie, Frankie, or Bobby are doing. If you have a question, shoot it to me. I'll answer you all day long. But we are all different creatures. We all have different capital. We have different knowledge, risk tolerance, and most importantly, how much time you can personally commit. So people ask, well, what's the best time frame? What's the best market? I don't, you know, I don't know. What suits your your situation? I can't tell you that you should only trade on a five-minute chart of NASDAQ or you should only swing trade stocks because we all have different time that we can commit to the markets. But regardless of your style, you can make this work. We now offer purchase through PayPal, regular purchase or financing options. We get questions about financing this all the time. You can do this with our PayPal options. Very simple process. Just go to the PayPal button on the order form and you can work that through PayPal. The offer link, folks, is seasonalswingtrader.com forward slash TPI. Again, you're getting lifetime access, including any future upgrades. Anytime we make an upgrade or a single change, we have to do it across six platforms. And it's not cheap, but you're going to be grandfathered in and get all future upgrades free for life. So one thing that um, we've been doing is we added a private Telegram access. So every week I'm doing a video analysis of the scans, bearish scans, bullish scans, running through a video and I'm putting that in a Telegram channel, also posting ideas as they come to fruition. So the uh, see uh, questions about the platform again, it is thinkorswim, tradestation, ninjatrader8, tradingview, wealth charts, and MT4. So let me take a swig of water here. I'm gonna ask a few, uh, answer a few questions. I've got about two or three minutes. Uh, does the scanner alert me to a trade? So the scanner is scanning across whatever uh, watch list that you've created, whatever time frame, whatever markets. And it's when we get a bullish divergence buy signal or a bearish divergence sell signal, that's going to populate on your scanner. Uh, yes, you can load it on a PC and a laptop. This is not a subscription. It's not a renewal. It's a one-time fee. You own it for life. They do not repaint. No, they do not repaint. Uh, yeah, the PayPal button is on the order form. Yep, you get access to all platforms, Luke. You're welcome. My email address is support at seasonalswingtrader.com. Support at seasonalswingtrader.com. Uh, yes, that, as I said earlier, works perfect in, uh, with volatility. I'll show you a real-time setup. So here we are. Here are the last three setups on the E-mini S&P. Bullish versus buy signal, bearish versus sell signal, bearish versus sell signal. These lines here that you're seeing are entry levels, risk levels, TP1, take profit one, take profit two. These can be adjusted by you, the user. These are based off of an ATR multiplier, average true range. So if you flip from a 10 minute chart of the E-mini S&P to a daily chart of Caterpillar, they're gonna have different ATRs, right? Different ATRs. So that will automatically calculate as you flip from different charts to different chart, different time frame to different time frame. So for example, this might be an ATR uh, multiplier, one and a half. Let's just take a look. If I go up here, we can see that the stop loss ATR is one and a half. Take profit is two times ATR. Take profit two is three times ATR. You want to only see long or short. You only want to see one profit target. Those can be changed. Okay, 
my time is up. I want to say thank you to a wonderful crowd here. Um, I want to say thanks to Sherry, the Traders Exclusive team. Thanks for having thank me. For I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the flip side. All right, everybody, you've got the um, link, and it's got a button right there. Take advantage of it. You can email Silas at support at Seasonal Swing Trader. And um, I want to thank you very much for being with us, Silas. It's been great. It's always great to have you with us. So thank you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. All right, you too. All right, here we go. That was uh, that was Silas Peters, and you guys need to check him out and go and take advantage of that awesome, awesome offer. So coming up next. I wanted to let you know that if you have to leave early, uh, you can go to tradersexclusive.com forward slash archived underscore webinars. We'll get you right to all of our um, past webinars, our past live events. So you don't have to worry about missing anything. Um, you just go in like right there, it says trading. If you go to tradersexclusive.com, you go to trader trading education webinars, where that green arrow is not on that page, but you click trading education webinars. That'll take you to the page where we show what dates all of our webinars are. Our next one is going to be on, uh, oh, these need to be, this is an old page. Sorry, guys. Uh, the next one is March 16th. Uh, but you click on check out past traders exclusive webinars you click on the here button and then you will see uh, everything uh, that we have loaded up so our next speaker is coming in mr barry burns of the top dog trading i think it's dr barry burns actually he's going to fix that and correct me he's going to be talking to us about how to find markets that are about to make explosive moves and I just wanted to let you know who it is you're listening to. Uh, again, Barry Burns of Top Dog Trading. Dr. Barry Burns, that's right, started his study of the markets under the direction of his late father, Patrick F. Burns, who accumulated 70 years of trading experience in his lifetime. That's hands-on experience that Barry got to see right there. But just a few of Barry's accomplishments include, um, he's an author, he wrote Trend Trading for Dummies. He is a seminar presenter for several exchanges, including the CME Group and Eurex. Um, he's also written Top Dog Trading 5 Energy Methodology Plugin for Metastock. That's on, that, on the platform, right? So he's received several years of Reader's Choice Awards for technical analysis websites and trading schools by technical analysis of stocks and commodities magazine. He's published many, many articles for various outlets, including eSignal Central, and he founded Top Dog Trading, which is there to help students shorten their learning curve in becoming traders. And I happen to know that he speaks a lot about the psychology involved, so I'm really happy that he's here with us today. Hey, Barry, can can you can I hear you? Yes. Hello. How are you? How Hello. are you? How are you? All right. Can you talk one more time? Yes, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Is there any chance you can turn your microphone up a little bit? Oh, okay. Let me uh let me see here. Go to audio. I'm gonna make you presenter now. You can okay. hear your screen. Alrighty. Um, can everybody hear Barry pretty good? Is it just see. me? Somebody give me some yes, I can hear him or no, he needs to be louder. Yeah, let me know. Type it and in there, everybody. Come on. Okay, Mike says is that audio is good. Audio is good? Right. Oh. Yep. Okay. All right, I'll be quiet and you take it away. Now, All do right. you like to ask questions and watch the questions, or do you want me to come in at the end and do question and answer time with you? Uh, let's see. I'm happy to take questions. Oh, I see it here. Attendees. Let me see. All right, now you should be able to see the questions. questions. Yes. Okay, great. I'll I'll pull that out. I'll detach it right. so that I can see it. And yes, I'll be happy to take questions. All right. Take it away. And thank you for being with us. Okay. Thank you for inviting me. My pleasure. All right. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, we got uh, 
got some good, good people here. I see. I just want to do a few shout outs here. Miguel and Mike and Sil and uh, there we go. Miguel, Michaela, Michael, another Michael, Matthew, Martin, Lee, another. Oh, that's the same Lee, Carl, John, Jim, uh, Janice, Jen, James, Jack, Gina, Gina Chia. I like it. Gills, Gerald, Francois, fellow investor. Is that the name on your birth certificate? Bernard, Arnold, Anthony, and others. So anyway, good to be here with all of you. I try to make this um, a bit personal. So like um, like we said, go feel free to type any questions into the um, the questions box as I um, I go along, and I'll try to leave a few minutes for questions at the end if I can. We'll see how the time goes. All right. So my topic here, as you can see on the slide, is how to find markets that are about to make explosive moves. And explosive moves are good because well, they make us money fast. So, oh, actually, I had an introduction already, so I can kind of go through this fast, but there's my ugly mug. I am Dr. Barry Burns, owner and founder of Top Dog Trading, wrote the book Trend Trading for Dummies, and, you know, I don't need to repeat all of this stuff, so we'll speed it up and spend more time on education, which is great. Oh, I do have a podcast, by the way, so I'll just share with you some of the free stuff I have. If you like podcasts, feel free to go to whatever podcast platform you use, type in Top Dog Trading into the search field, and you get a bunch of our um, episodes there. And by the way, this image is out of date. We've got newer podcasts now. Same thing on YouTube. Got a lot of, got, got, gosh, I think I have almost 300 videos on YouTube. I think we're closing in on 300. So obviously all for free. Check it out. Um, a lot of good stuff there. Now, I know that number one reason you came here is to learn about legal disclaimers. And that's why people come on to these investing and trading um, webinars is, hey, tell me, give me some more legalese. That's what I really want. And how much will you charge for the legalese? Hey, today the legalese is free. And trading is not suitable for all the people. And I'm not going to read through every word of this, but I do want to say as I'm pulling this up, this stuff is very, very important. I don't want to just make fun of it um, because a lot of people don't read it because it is, granted, not the most entertaining language, but it is very, very, very important. It is the anti-hype. Unfortunately, there is some hype going around in trading, and obviously, we all want to stay away from that. So that's what this is. The regulators have gone out there, uh, done their research for you and me, and they are telling us, hey, here's how to keep yourself rooted and grounded in the realities of trading. So think of it that way as educational and as a the defense part of your game. And even if you've read the disclaimers before, I encourage you to go back and read them again, either on you know pretty much any trading website. Okay, so when we're talking about finding explosive moves, we center this in the, the area of cycles. So there's many different things about trading that we can study, but today we're gonna look at various types of cycles in order to find explosive moves. Now, what are cycles? Cycles, just think of cycle as a period of time. And it's amazing to me that a lot of people don't teach or learn about cycles anymore in trading. It's one of the first things that I learned about back in the, the days of yore. Um, you know, I, I started uh, my trading when I was eight. So yeah, eight, my dad, you know, as was mentioned, my dad was a trader. And so he started me trading when I was eight years old. And I've learned about cycles all my life, but I just don't hear as much about it anymore. It's super important. And of course, there's seasonal cycles or calendar cycles. And that just basically is things like, well, you know, commodities are based on that. You sow in the spring, you reap in the fall, and the agricultural cycle. And then you also have retail cycle, which heightens around, well, December, but really starts way before that. And we get normal cycles like that. Another type of cycle is just simply your, your swing highs, your swing lows, your swing high, your swing low, higher high, higher low, up and down. Uh, another type of cycle. Now, this is one that's not talked about very much. The first two are talked about uh, quite a bit. This is a super, super important one that I actually don't know if I've heard anyone other than me talk about this. Usually when I say that, then somebody says, oh, no, you know, 
this other guy talked about that too. So I'm not going to claim that I'm the only one who's talked about it, but I did come up with it uh, independently. I'll just say it that way. Order chaos cycles. So there's a very famous book that's had over, well, I don't know, well over a million copies sold called Random Walk Down Wall Street. And they postulated that the markets are perfectly efficient and therefore basically you can't really trade. Uh, I make money. Well, the problem is there's lots of people who trade and make money. So, uh, but the book still does bring up some very, very, very good points. And, you know, then there's other schools of thought that say, oh no, the markets are perfectly predictable and work on mathematical basis. And I've read those books too, and they made a lot of sense. So I got to this point of, wait a minute, these two schools of thought contradict each other, which one is right? And I'm making money. So what's the deal here? And then I came up with this. Oh, both are right at different times. There are times when the markets are chaotic and when you cannot predict with statistical significance what the market's going to do. And then there's other times when the markets behave in an orderly manner all right, it's somewhat of a mathematical, orderly, statistical, uh, predictable manner. And that's when you want to trade. And so that's the distinction. And some traders will talk about this in different terms. They'll say, oh, it's the market's just choppy. And chop would be considered a chaos period of time or a chaotic cycle. And then you get, for example, your stair step patterns that we know about, higher highs, higher lows. That's an orderly pattern. So we want to trade when the market's moving in an orderly fashion, and we want to stay out of the market when it's a chaotic pattern. All right, I should do a whole session on that, or maybe even a whole book. Uh, another one is called coupling and uncoupling cycles. This is where various different types of sectors, industries, uh, et cetera, financial markets will move in order in lockstep, and then other times they get disconnected from each other and then volatility cycles. So today we're gonna to focus on volatility cycles because today we wanna to learn how to make big money fast. So volatility cycles are where, well, let me go on to the next slide. Okay, so what is a volatility cycle? Let me bring up my little laser pointer here and make sure we're all on the same page to just make this super obvious, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so big volatility cycles uh, to catch big moves. So volatility is the price range of the market in a given period of time. So I can use these uh, little rectangles here. So when we move from a low to a high, cover a wide range of price in a relatively short period of time. So that's high volatility. And that's where you can make the big money. Buy low, sell high, and but you sell really high. And then this is a low volatility period of time. Okay, you still got highs and lows, but don't have as much range. So even if you trade to this, there's not as much profit to be made. All right, so those are volatility cycles. This is a high volatility period of time or cycle. This is a low volatility period of time or cycle. So what are some patterns that we can trade to catch big moves? And one of them would be Bollinger Band squeezes. Another one would be contracting channels, another one would be wedges, triangles, and moving average convergences. Okay, we're gonna, couple of, we're gonna cover a couple of these in detail. So questions for volatility cycles would be what patterns to trade, how early or late to enter. This is a big one, big one. If you enter too late, you're, the market's already made a big move and so you can't make the big money anymore. You got to get into these things early. Which direction to trade? That's another one. So, for example, triangles, uh, one of the big, I love trading triangles. One of the big questions is, well, which way is it going to break out, up or down? And then exactly when to enter and when to exit. Okay. So today, because we only have a certain amount of time, I'm going to focus on these. Moving average convergences, triangles, and what I call detachment from equilibrium. So this is one that um, not too many people teach. So you're gonna get some new stuff here. All right, so these are three patterns we're going to talk about. 
Let's get into the first one, moving average convergences. So these are the moving averages that I use. It's not necessary that you use these exact ones, but these are the ones that I use on every single one of my charts, whatever time frame, whatever market. 15 EMA, 50 SMA, 100 SMA, and 200 SMA. So the key is those four moving averages all cluster together. Okay, they all converge. So what does that mean? That means literally the last, the market, whatever market you've got on here, in this case it's Apple, but it could be Forex, it could be gold, it could be Bitcoin, it could be whatever. It means that literally the last 15 bars, 50 bars, 100 bars, 200 bars, there's been a very negligible change in price over all those periods of time. And so we've got a contracting market, low volatility. Okay, so our cycle right now is contraction of volatility, low volatility cycle. Now remember, we've got cycles of volatility. So the market will go from low volatility and then it'll go into a high volatility period of time. And then it'll go back down to a low volatility period of time. And then back to another high volatility period of time. Right, those are the cycles. And so the way to make money on these is to get in during the low volatility period of time. And that seems counterintuitive because that's when you have your, your chop, that's when you have your chaotic period of time, but we wanna get into the end of that low volatility period of time. So think of it this way. They say the trend is your friend until the end. Okay, and by the way, trends have cycles as well, meaning that the market will go from a trending period of time to a non-trending period of time, back to a trending cycle, back to a non-trending cycle. So when they say the trend is your friend until the end, that means that at the end, oh, that, that trending cycle or period of time is now over, it's about to be over, and we're gonna to go to a non-trending period. So we look for this, look for this contraction and as i mentioned yeah you can use different moving averages than this here's the key you do want to use several moving averages that are at least one or two that are really short and then one or two that are really long okay that's the key but whatever ones you want to use is fine but you see i have the um dif differential between 15 bars and 200 bars so that's the part that's important on this Okay, so we've got contraction here. All right, let's go to our next slide. And boom, there we go. So we wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Gets above the moving averages, puts in a failed five wave, comes back down. Now, this is so typical of the markets. It goes just when everybody, the markets are very tricky. They're very tricky. And that's intentional, by the way. So they'll suck you in, and then just when you think, oh, okay, we're breaking out, then it comes careening right back down into the moving averages. But at least the moving averages have spread out now. They're not just all wound together there, like a coiled spring, some people call it. And so the professional trade here is actually to wait for, everybody thinks, oh, we're off to the races, and then, those people get stopped out below that low or below a moving average um, or an ATR or whatever. You'll notice that it actually goes down quite a bit. And then you wait for it to explode out of that again. And then boy, does it explode. Okay, and these, these levels, these are simply a previous major swing highs and lows. That's what these blue lines are. So resistance levels of where the market is uh, proven to put in resistance in the past. All right, so the professional way to trade it, most people trade this by just looking for, oh, okay, let's wait for it to break out of these moving averages. And boom, then they come, they smack it right back down, take out stops, and then the big boys come in, boom. And then they take it back out again. So just when you, and this is, if you've ever thought like, oh gosh, Everything I do seems to be wrong in trading. <laughs> it's just like, if I just did the opposite of everything I do, if I took the opposite of all my trades, I'd probably be a millionaire. Well, there's something behind that. That's your subconscious mind 
uh, picking up on patterns and feeding them to you, to your logical mind, to your conscious mind. But your conscious mind can't make any sense out of it because it goes against everything that you were taught in the traditional books and by traditional teachers. And traditional technical analysis doesn't really work anymore. And that's because, well, traditional technical analysis was, um, oh, it's got a long history, but the Bible of what's called modern technical analysis was written in the 1940s. And pretty much everything that's been written about since then has kind of come out of that and, and others. So that's the big problem because in the 1940s, we didn't have, well, computers, let alone algos, let alone um, quants, high frequency trading, dark pools. And the advent of all of these things, all these technologies have changed the way that markets move now. And so what you need to watch out for now, the way to really trade it is actually look for the trickery. And as your subconscious mind has taught you, almost do the opposite of what you've been tra tra traditionally taught. Okay, so trading is about opposite world. Okay, that's number one. Now, pattern number two for today is triangles. So again, we're gonna do something that's um, not traditional, that's a bit counterintuitive. Remember I said we wanna get in early, all right? But we also don't wanna get faked out. So that's a tough thing to balance. How do I get in early but not get faked out and how not to um, you know, get left behind? So here's triangle. Okay, up, down, higher high, higher low. Now lower high. So we connect these two highs, lower high. Connect these lows, higher lows. Basic ascend or um, asymmetrical triangle. So what most people are taught to do is to either wait for the breakout of the triangle and they'll trade the breakout of the lower trend line. So the problem with that is, I mean, that's great if it just, goes careening down, but that really happens anymore. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does, but that's not a safe trade because it doesn't happen enough to make it a high probability trade most of the time. So, and this is the kind of stuff that you'll see happen. So it breaks down and then up, oh, it comes back up and then look, makes a little lower low here and then makes a higher high here. Well, that's just so gall darn typical of how markets move these days. Again, Think of it as just taking out people's stops. So it's just annoying, right? <laughs> and that's exactly what's happening and that's exactly intentional is to take people's traditional trades and mess with them and make them lose. So that's not a high probability most of the time. So people caught on to that. And so then people started saying, oh, don't trade the breakout, trade what's called the throwback. And I'll throw back in this type of a pattern it means you wait for the breakout and then you wait for it to come back roughly to this trend line and then you trade it. And that worked for a while until everybody started doing that. And by the way, this is a general principle of trading. Just about the time that everybody starts doing anything, that's exactly the time it stops working. Because no matter what, most people are always going to lose money in trading. It's built that way. Okay, so now what happens a lot is people trade the, the throwback here, they wait for it to break out, wait for the throwback, and then sure, you make a little lower low and you say, oh, goody, oh no, not goody. And then if you placed your stop here, then you're stopped out there. And then it finally goes down. It's like, oh my gosh, so how do I trade this? You trade it inside the triangle. So I enter right there on these triangle trades. So two things. Number one, I'm avoiding all of the shenanigans. Okay, I can stay in through all that shenanigans. Number two, I'm getting in early. So now my protective stop is here and I get all these profits. Whereas if you would have entered here or here or even here, you're only getting that much profits. So the reward is bigger. Remember, this is how to make big money, big moves. So to make big, to make big money, you gotta get in earlier. You gotta get in, if you're shorting, you gotta short at a higher price than the retail trader. If you're buying, you gotta buy at a lower price than the retail prior, uh, trader. That's your reward, part of the risk reward ratio. 
Now, this feels uncomfortable to most people, and professional trading is counterintuitive. And I have taught this before, and I've got, actually gotten feedback from people before where they say, well, you're not trading a triangle. And I says, yes, I am. I'm trading a triangle. They said, no, because you don't have a confirmed triangle. And I even say I'm trading a triangle breakout trade. Well, they say, no, you're not trading a triangle breakout trade because there's no breakout yet. Hey, you're right. I'm not trading the breakout, but it's still a triangle breakout trade because that's the intention of the trade. Just hasn't happened yet. So you're right, I'm not trading on the breakout. I'm trading in anticipation of the breakout. And here's the other thing. When people say, well, it's not a confirmed, um, when it's not a confirmed triangle yet, that is true. That is true. However, professional trading, you've got to be in early before everything is confirmed. Because, you know, well, you've probably heard the uh, the slogan, um, buy the rumor, sell the news, all right? And that refers to, well, economic news, quarterly earnings, you know, news. So that same principle applies to technical analysis. And what I mean by that is, if you wait for the news of the setup, meaning the setup is now confirmed, you are too late. Because now everybody in their parakeet sees that setup, it's confirmed, and everybody in their parakeet takes the trade, and everybody in their parakeet loses money. And there's a lot of parakeets going without bird feed. Sorry, I'm a dad, so every once in a while I gotta, I'm almost legally required to throw a dumb dad joke in there. <laughs> okay, so professional trading, we're trading the rumor of technical analysis. Now, so the next important question would be, well, Barry, how do you know that that is going to be the final swing high in there. And first of all, to answer that question, we never know anything. So I don't like it when we when people use the term, how do you know? You don't know. We're trading statistical probabilities. But I do have a statistical probability that that's going to be a high, the final swing high, and that it is going to end up being a lower high because of the cycle indicator that I use. So I've got a cycle indicator that shows me, and I don't have time to go into it today, that's a whole nother presentation, which by the way, I'll, I'll give you access to a recording of that presentation too, for free. So I don't wanna tease you with something and not give it to you. So at the end, I'll give you a, um, a URL where you can go and, and watch that presentation and get the cycle indicator and all that stuff for free, okay? So not holding it from you, but just don't have time to deep dive into it today. So here's my cycle indicator to determine right up in here, okay, is this going to be the final swing high? And is it going to be a lower high? And when my indicator says yes, then okay, good. I'm gonna short right there. And that's buying the rumor, because it's true. The triangle has not been confirmed yet, but if I wait for it to be confirmed, then I'm trading with all the amateurs and the retailers. Oh wait, Gerald has a question here. Um, okay, you enter at the top of the triangle. With that entry, how do you determine which way it will break? Oh. Excellent question, that's right. So I even brought that up earlier, didn't I? So thank you, great question. So for that, and again, I'm sorry, we just, you know, I've only got 45 minutes, so I don't have time to go into every detail of my methodology. But to answer your question directly, what I do is I, I look at momentum, and of course I've got a momentum indicator, on a higher time frame. So for any of these patterns, whether they're triangles, wedges, Bollinger Band squeezes, whatevers, uh, the direction of the breakout, I look for it to break out in the direction of the momentum indicator on my next higher time frame. And I like to use a one to three ratio. Uh, this is a five minute chart, so I would, I would use a 15 minute chart. And in this case, I would only take the trade if we had that cycle high on my indicator and momentum on the next higher time frame was down, was bearish. Excellent question. Okay. So, right, I'm not guessing. Um, I've got these mathematical tools on my side. Now, one other thing that adds to this, this is actually a concurrent setup that adds to the probability of this trade. So what do I mean by concurrent setup? Concurrent setup means I've got two um, uncorrelated trade setups here. 
So the first one is the triangle. We already talked about symmetrical triangle. The second one is a head and shoulders. So we've got a, a high, a higher high, and a lower high. So there's the left shoulder, head, and right shoulder. And so that would be another reason to Gerald's uh, question as to why I would expect it to break down. Okay, concurrent setups. And when you get concurrent setups, well, that just adds to the probability of your trade dramatically because now you could trade it as a triangle or you could trade it as a head and shoulders. Hey, wait, you've got two, two trades and one. So now we've got two reasons to take the trade as to the probability of the trade. Okay, and by the way, there's no, um, no uh, significance to this being a five minute chart. I normally don't even trade five minute charts. I just, you know, you can trade whatever time frame you want. None of this is um, directly correlated with any particular time frame or any particular market. The things here that I'm sharing with you will work with uh, stocks, forex, futures, commodities, cryptos, whatever. And if you like to trade this on daily charts or 60 minute charts or five minute charts or one minute charts or 144 tick charts or whatever, it's all the same. Okay, the only um, qualification is that you're trading a market that has some good average daily volume. We don't want, I don't like to trade thinly traded markets because there's too much subject to pump and dumps. You don't have the institutional money in there um, and they do make, move more chaotically. They don't form the more orderly patterns. All right, so very good. Let's go to pattern number three, numero tres. And this one is called detachment from equilibrium. This one is more for day traders. And when I talk about equilibrium, I'm using two, um, two tools here. So number one, not really a tool, but uh, more mathematical um, price levels, price levels. So YC, that stands for yesterday's close. So I always put the previous day's close on my charts. It's a very significant level. Basically, when all was said and done yesterday, that's what the market participants said they felt the price of whatever market you're trading was worth. Okay, after all the news, the gossip, the rumors, all was said and done, up, down, wiggling around, <laughs> they said, okay, we think the market's worth this much. And that's fine. Now the sentiment can change today. But everybody is watching that level to see are we stronger than yesterday or are we weaker than yesterday? It is the line of demarcation of whether your numbers are gonna show green or red, right? So that's equilibrium for today. So if you stay at yesterday's close, there's no change between yesterday and today, therefore no, nothing has really changed. We're at a neutral sentiment. And then the other one that I use is the pivot point. So this is your floor trader pivots. And there's a pivot point or a central pivot, sometimes it's called, either one is acceptable. And that's a mathematical formula that the floor traders used to use back in the day. And by the way, when I was in Chicago and was trained by a floor trader there during open outcry, that shows you how old I am. Um, yeah, we, we watch those levels. We watch these, these levels very carefully. And so based on the pivot point um, calculation, which is just a simple mathematical formula, um, they considered that the neutral area. As long as the market's hung around the pivot point or the central pivot, it's like, yeah, we're not bullish, we're not bearish, and we're just kind of neutral. Okay, so, and then you got, by the way, there's that's yesterday's low, and then you got S1, that's support level one, that's below pivot point, support level two, R1 is resistance one. Oh, and just since you see these, I also like to use these levels, S1, S2. So what is that? It's simply 50% between S1 and S2. I call them mid pivots. And not many people use those. I found them very, very helpful, especially if the previous day was a wide range day, then I always put the mid pivots on. If the previous day was a narrow range day, then I normally uncheck the mid pivots. Now, one other thing I wanna show you here before I go on, Here's more shenanigans. So it used to be back in the days of yore 
that people would watch yesterday's low and yesterday's high. Well, they still do, but people used to trade off of it. And it used to be that, okay, we're gonna watch yesterday's low, which is YL, that's what it stands for yesterday's low. And they'd say, okay, when we break below the yesterday's low, then we're in bearish territory. That's, and you go short. And conversely, the same thing with uh, yesterday's high, then you go long. Okay, and that worked for a while until again, everybody in their parakeet started doing that. And so now this is what happens. And I see this all the time. They game these levels called gaming the levels. So it'll break through yesterday's low and your breakout traders, they'll get in. And then comes right back up above yesterday's low. Oh man, and then some people get stopped out. And then they'll say, oh no, just kidding, we're really are going to go down. And now people are like, okay, that's significant. And we've even broken below S1. And then the market says, uh, just kidding, fooled ya. Comes right back in. Isn't that annoying? Market can be very annoying. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do, how we actually handle this now is we create a zone of equilibrium. And that zone of equilibrium is going to be between the pivot point and yesterday's close. Can't really rely on just one of these levels. Okay, it's two different ways. And, and by the way, most things in trading, most support levels, resistance levels are not really lines, they are zones. That's, that's how you should actually look at them. And so we create our equilibrium zone we wait for the market to do its shenanigans. Again, same principle as we talked about before when we had the moving averages all clustering together. Okay, we just anticipate that the market's gonna do some you know, trickery and we let it do its trickery. Okay, we let them do it, fake everybody out, take out stops, do all of that stuff. And then it comes right back in and that's the sign. So, Again, this is professional level trading where you wait, you're patient, you, that's the rumor, okay? And that comes back in and now they're going to let her go down to the center of the earth and wallow in the magma of the center of the earth. So we wait for the fake outs, let it come back up and then thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take it all the way down. By the way, look, look, look where we went. We went to a mid pivot at the end of the day. S2, S3. These work extremely well. Even bounced off of it here. And yeah, these, these pivots work great. Okay, so important factors to finish up. So what patterns to trade to catch these big moves? I gave you three today. There's more, but I gave you three. Um, which direction to trade these breakouts? Again, I trade in the direction of momentum of the higher time interval. So I just have some sort of whatever your favorite momentum indicator is, um, put that on your higher time frame, and that's the direction you want to trade. Momentum is strength. Momentum, you always want to trade in the direction of momentum. And trends, by the way, a little extra freebie here, trading with the trend alone is not safe because there are two types of trends, weak trends and strong trends. And they can both be uptrends. But if you trade an uptrend that's weak, it will not follow through. It's weak, it doesn't have any follow through to it, and you will get stopped out. Or at best, you won't make much money. Again, today we're talking about the big moves. For the big moves, you need a lot of momentum, and momentum is caused by a lot of volume coming in. It's usually the institutions coming in, hedge funds, banks, et cetera. Okay, and that's what creates momentum. And that's what's gonna give you the big reward. Whereas a weak trend, trend just means direction. So market could start moving up, but it could be moving up on just retail traders, amateur traders, and they don't have a lot of volume. They don't have, you know, they're trading 10 shares, one lot, one contract, whatever. Not a lot of momentum. They're skittish. They get scared if one red bar occurs and then they get out. And so you're not gonna get the big reward with that, if anything. Okay, so just thought I'd throw that in there as a little extra bonus. And then how early or late to enter. And so this is where, again, we wanna enter as early as possible. We wanna avoid the shenanigans. 
And this is where you, you start to develop pattern recognition. And you say, okay, I'm gonna let the market fake out everybody. Wait for the second setup after everybody gets their stops out. By the way, I've got an extra minute. So let me explain why, um, why stop running occurs. Why does stop running occur? It's not because uh, the, the big boys don't like us. Okay, it's nothing personal. It's because it's, it's just purely monetarily driven. So if the market starts going down, let's use our last example, market starts going down and it's on retail traders. Okay, so people got short. That's how you have to think of it. The people and the computers that um, people programmed. So the market starts going short or the retailers start going short. So the, uh, the professionals say, ah, okay, sentiment is, is bearish. So everybody wants to go short, that's nice. So, but we're not gonna follow them. We want to get in before them. Problem is, retailers are already in. So what do they do? They take them out. <laughs> they take them out because it's purely, again, the risk reward. In order to make a big reward, the professionals have to be in before the retailers. So they'll take them out, take out their, their um, shorts, and then the retailers, well, kind of fill their shorts, I guess. <laughs> and um, then the professionals go short. And then the retailers whose sentiment was already bearish, then they're like, oh no, it is going down after all. And then they come flying in. Now, the dynamic there means that when everybody else starts coming in and the professionals got in um, after taking everybody else out, that's exactly all that extra volume, all those extra orders pushes the market down further and further and further and further. So again, it's all geared around um, creating a big reward, okay? Simple as if um, if other people get in before you, then you you don't have um, more people to come in after you to continue to push the market in your direction. It's simply that. So, and then again, I use my market timing indicator, which I'll show you how to get for free, actually, right now. So um, here you go. So uh, by the way, I did mess up. I didn't bring anything to sell you today. I am so sorry. I know I messed up. That's that's my bad. I take full responsibility for that. Um, yeah, I was supposed to bring something to sell, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, I didn't. So <laughs> what I do have is free stuff for you. So I'm going to give you one of my favorite uh, trade strategies called the rubber band trade. And this is, it's a full trade strategy. I want you to make some money uh, with this strategy and I'm not charging you anything for it. Completely defined strategy. And it's one of my favorite trade strategies. I still take it to this day. And it's very simple. It's a reversion to the mean mathematical model. With this, you get five days of video instruction. I give you some quizzes so that we make sure you got it accurately. And then also, um, you'll get a link to my recorded webinar on my cycle indicator. And I'll show you exactly how to set it up. By the way, when I say cycle indicator, let me just be perfectly transparent here. It's actually a, a very common indicator. There's no um, proprietary indicator here you have to download or import. And so it's just a very common indicator that's already on every trading platform that I've seen. So you don't have to buy anything, but I do modify that common indicator. And in this webinar, I show you exactly how to modify it and how to trade it. And you get it all by just going to topdogtrading.com forward slash free. And there you go. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> that's a great story. Guys, you got to go over to topdogtrading.com forward slash free. And uh, there are things to buy over on Barry's site, but I, this is one reason why we love it for you to come on because really there's so much to know about trading. Uh, everyone should avail themselves of everything that's free so that they can like, you know, figure out the learning curve before they're actually paying someone to learn what else they need to know, right? Um, so we really appreciate you coming in and, and giving them all this free stuff. And um, I do have one question for you from Gerald. He wanted to know, and and maybe I don't I don't know the context for this because I listen with one ear while I'm over working on something else. And he said, okay, you enter at the top of the triangle with that entry. How do you determine which way it will break? Did you already answer that? 
I did. I okay. did. But for those okay, who didn't, good. Yeah. Okay, uh, he said already answered. Okay, yes, yes. All oh, right. I, and Michael, I see Michael's question there. And I know Herbert uh, or Hubert, so no, we've discussed that. And no, his rubber band, <laughs> I didn't even know he had a rubber band trade, uh, but no, it, oh. our setups are different. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. I really appreciate you being with us today. And I really super appreciate it when you finish on time so we can go on to the next person because, you know, everybody's got a finite amount of time and they really love it when people do what they say they're going to do. And that speaks to your character and it speaks to how they can expect to work with you. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you back again. Okay. Me too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye now. Okay, folks, um, what you need to do is go ahead and check out uh, Barry's page so that you can take advantage of all the free stuff that's there. That was Barry Burns of Talk Dog Trading. And uh, if you found that helpful, that he'll be very glad to know that. So our next speaker is here. He's waiting in the wings. It's Simon Joseph of the Trader Institute. He's going to talk to us about 10x Forex and futures trade probabilities with secret bank levels and volume profile. I just want to know, do you guys make up these presentation titles so that I get super tongue tied or what? So anyway, <laughs> Simon Joseph is the head trader and trading educator for the Trader Institute. He provides day trading signals, market analysis and education. He held his first public class in 2004 and due to global demand, by 2010, he had to switch to online conferencing. He focuses his education and training on the core of what moves the markets. And, you know, we all know it's about buying and selling. So volume or volume pressure is key to understanding the markets. The market makers are the ones who control the moves. And with Simon's dynamic math-based indicators and system, you can see the moves ahead of time. So are you there with me, Simon? Yes, I'm here and ready. I'm super happy to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. I'll be quiet now. I'm going to make you the panelist, uh, the presenter. Now, do you like to see the questions as they roll in? Do you question and answer while you're working, or do you maybe, want to work have the questions towards, at the end? Maybe towards the end, I'll look at them. Okay. All right. That's well, I'm, I'll go ahead and make you the organizer then, so you can see them in case you decide you want to ask them some people say hey give me a cue if you can hear me or something like that so take it Hello, away everybody. thank you so much appreciate uh, the introduction appreciate it thanks everybody uh thanks for your time um i have about maybe 40 45 minutes i'll try and be brief but uh there's no way i can cover uh, everything in in this session therefore i'm glad to let you know that we have uh, two weeks trials with us um what i offer is kept kind of looks complicated but it's really not i simplified it to the basics um i'm, I'm going to be talking about volume profile and market movers levels um you know whatever moves the market you have to be aware of it uh, uh market the, the we all know you and i know market there are market movers a specific uh entries specific uh, uh establishments specific traders would would move the market um, buying buyers and sellers so if you don't know what they're doing and where are their levels and what their intention is you are uh, not uh, not aware of the market's direction and I'll give you an example before I start anything just to to show you that this is not something random today is March 2nd right and I and I offer my services also besides the live trade room that I have three times a week I also have uh, on I have telegram do you, you know what day February 25th was? February 25th was Friday, past Friday. And if you notice at 10 a.m., I said crude just showed an interest to go to 112. I have not started my presentation. I'm just letting you know how important it is for you to pay attention. February 25th, this is time stamped. This is the date that 92 people saw it. You see 92 here. Right, you see it. You all you all see it. At one one twelve, I said uh, at ten a.m. I said crude is going to one twelve, and I also said crude possible long. After after a couple of hours, and then I said crude possible long at ninety point five, and then I said ninety. 
support is also at 90. So I changed my mind from 90.50 to 90. That was Friday past, folks. Do you want to know what happened? This was this was Friday past. Let me just show it to you. This was fr Friday past 90. You see, you notice it was missed. It did not touch 90. It missed it by exactly five ticks. You see this? It missed it by five ticks. Therefore, I did not hear the audio because I I look at maybe 15 to different 20 different instruments. So if I don't hear the audio in my ear. I cannot, I don't switch to that instrument. Regardless, some students took it because I, I called it. I said, you can go along uh, at any uh, uh, price in this area. But you see the, the where, where was the high today? 112. Since last Friday, this was anticipated. Why? Because I see market makers levels. Do you see those magenta lines? These were market makers levels. Okay, just to let you know that what I'm talking about, it's not something I'm pulling out of my pocket. It's something that it's it's happening every day. We see it happening every day. So now let's continue with the presentation. Fair enough? Fair enough. Today I'm going to talk about who I am, what are what what do we offer, what is volume what is volume profile indicator. What are market makers levels, which I just showed you, and how to use them for support, resistance, targets, you know, uh, attraction levels that the market is attracted to. And what is ACE methodology? ACE is short for anticipate, confirm, and then execute, right? This is important. And then value, the value, the, the, the value for your investment if you join us. Again, I'm not selling, just like the previous presenter, I'm not selling anything today. You join us for a trial. If you like it, you move forward. And I'll do my best to be as brief as I can because the time is, is short for this presentation. I would usually need more time. I'm an independent uh, trader, profitable trader that uses volume profile with my own confirming indicators. I, I do confirm my trades. Uh, I do look for trades and I don't trade without knowing my stop loss. Even if I know the market is going to go to a certain price, I don't trade it unless I know my stop loss, what is my risk? It's very important. Um, I do the same for my students, for my members, okay? I found I found the Trader Institute uh, uh, to help my members and also uh, they've been, some of them been with me since 2004. And they, you see them, you, if you join me uh, in, in, uh, uh, in, in uh, our trial, you will be part of this. And if you go to Elite, if you join the Elite channel, some of them are here, you can chat with them if you wish, all right? Now, to know more about me, go to the website. I want you to be aware of um, a few things on the website. We have a lot of information on the website. I might not be able to cover it, but uh, I want you to look at um, a case that has been since 2015. It's been solved a couple of years ago. Um, it's it's on the it's it's on Google. It, everybody's but you know. <laughs> To, there, there are things to believe in, things that 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 are made up. So, this case against with the CFTC, I ignored it. I didn't pay attention to it. It almost at one point, it got so bad, uh, it almost ended my career because I really did not pay attention to it. I thought, you know what, the heck with them. What can they do? But eventually, I solved it. To know more about it, to know that is the hype that is uh, and and on, online is different than the actual the, uh, the, the than the reality. Go to this. I, I did. I never shied away from it. I put it on my website. It's on my website since day one. Uh, I have a statement. I released it. It's over. It's closed. And I also made a video with my students. Now, I said it almost ended my career because it was really becoming depressing. They they uh, included my family in this. I had uh, verbal attacks, whatever. But my students, my members, and 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 uh, 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 people who supported me, they were a big boost. I survived many, many wars. I came from a country that had many wars and I survived them. I survived being alone. I survived uh, moving from a country to a country. So th I, I realized this was just a small thing that I had to overcome regardless. Take time, go over the video, watch the video. It's, I think it's 30 minutes video. 
read the statements and just get it out of your system and move move on because it is very important folks to focus on the uh, what we offer okay what would we do and the trial it's for you to join us and i've been offering trials since day one since 2004 2005 i offer trials uh, i never accepted anybody to join me or to buy my membership without the trial fair enough what we offer is live trade room three days um, a week uh, tuesday wednesday thursday two hours they are designed and we use a go to webinar and they are designed to answer questions okay answer questions help members uh, especially the newer members I can show them on my charts how to do this, how to do that. Uh, show them uh, when, when I do my top-down analysis, what are the levels. So basically, it's kind of a training thing because I still end up calling the trades in the room and I still end up typing the trades. So if you miss a live trading session and you are a member with me, don't worry, the trades will be here, okay? Um, and I will show you a couple of them as well, all right? Uh, trade signals we offer, as I said, I, we offer trade signals on indices all of them metals like gold silver energies uh, especially the crude and, uh, uh, sometimes on nat gas and currencies for example i'm looking for the euro uh, to possibly euro go up so i'm looking for the this is the euro and there's a possibility for the euro to have a big jump up to this level you see this this attraction level this is market makers level this is like a magnet okay so i'm looking for the euro to go to go but I need to find my risk. I maybe it's come come back down a little bit. I need to find my stop loss, okay? Before I call it. Move on. Uh, we do uh, spot forex as well. Sometimes it depends. If you have it, you can benefit from it too. And it's mind-boggling that nine, 80 to 90 percent of traders do not use this tool, the tool that I just showed you. People are not aware of market makers level what, and, and how to use them, right? Um, I also offer comprehensive education. So basically, if you're a member, if you join us as a full member, um, you will get all these levels of education. For example, level three has your main course, main education video, which is crash course on volume profile. And then the rest, we offer you indicators, full set of indicators, for the, for sierra charts we use sierra charts for a reason and um, this indicator that i have which i explained earlier a little bit about it it's not available i cannot produce it on any other platform right so this is one of the most important things in trading knowing where the market is going knowing where the market is rejecting knowing what the market makers are intending to do it is that important why do I need to use a platform that I cannot produce that indicator on it? Sierra chart is the only one because they have a component that the rest of the platforms don't. And believe me, I tried. I tried to spend money and I hired programmers. I talked to brokers, talked to platform uh, creators. None of them has that component to create it, okay? The rest of my indicators are available on NinjaTrader 7, for example, but this indicator is not. Two weeks trial, as I said, you join us, you email us, and it's on the website. For two weeks trial, you go to and share if you can give them the website, please, the traderinstitute.com. You just go to the website and click on the two weeks trial, and it will take you to the page where you could go to to uh, the page here and to contact us you can contact me or you can contact uh, my sales department uh, for trials as well okay fair enough excellent now what is the ace method anticipate confirm execute anticipate so i'm anticipating the market how many of us can anticipate the market's next move it's so hard to anticipate because 90% or 85% of us use pure technical indicators. And, and I think the market makers know how, how technical traders think. Anticipating is a problem, but it's not as important as confirmation. 
because even if my anticipation is wrong, uh, I am not trading unless I confirm and then I execute. For execution is also important because it, it, it uh, managing the trade is very important. Okay, and let me let me see what's the next slide before I do this. How do we trade? How many contracts? And how we manage trade calls? Okay. Let me explain this. And I will show you actual trades. Okay, live trades that we had uh, through the charts. Let's assume that you're looking for a um, a short. Today I looked at the Dow for short. Uh, trades twice and let's assume that you're looking for a short the market uh, is, has come down 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 and then all of a sudden it's gone up to a level or you want it to go up to a level that you want to short it right let me okay so let me erase this and you're looking to short the market and the market come down now you or don't take it personal not you I mean talking general some of you would look at a technical indicator or they have different indicators to use. Let's assume for the for the simplicity, let's use Fibonacci's. We have we have levels of Fibonacci. This one, 38%, uh, 50%, for example, um, uh, 68%, for example, all of these levels, right? Market comes here, you take it short, just goes up, 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 it takes your stop loss, and you say, okay, 50%, that must must react to it. Okay, you don't know market maker's intention. You don't know where the volume is sitting. You have no idea. So, so the, it comes here. You take it again. It goes up, 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 up. It takes your stop loss. It comes back down. You say, you know, let me chase it. It's a downturn. It has to go. It comes back down. You go in again, and it goes up. Takes you, stops you out, and then comes back down again and continues. By by this time, you don't want to trade it. Now. Remember, we talked about uh, anticipate, confirm, execute. We talked about anticipate. Anticipation is key. You need to anticipate not only the direction, but you need to anticipate the, the, the level. So for me to anticipate, I look at something called volume profile. And this indicator is designed, I mean, it's available on multiple platforms, but this is specifically designed for us on Sierra charts. I have a similar to this for Ninja Trader 7. Uh, but if you look at the right hand side, um, let me erase these things that we don't need at this time. If you look at this right hand side, you see the volume profile and you see the, the colors, the, uh, the green, the red, the blue, the light blue. And, you know, this is a, a, a something that you could uh, basically focus on the areas that you want to focus. For example, if I put... If I put a lot of charts into this, you see it's getting bigger and you can, this volume profile covers everything within this chart. But if I want to minimize it, I want to look at certain level, see how it's getting smaller. Also, you can simply make it bigger, which is good. You make it smaller if you want, better view. You can sharpen the edges, which I like personally, sharpening, sharpening the edges because I can see the details, or you can smoothen the edges, up to you, okay? This indicator gives me multiple information. Some of them are such as this. Let me grab a pen. I have an area that is a rejection. You see this area is rejection, okay? This area is continuation. Rejection, rejection in between is continuation. This area is rejection still here. This area is all continuation and then rejection. So it's, this is on an hourly chart. But if I want to look at a bulk move, I can simply do this whole area is continuation. If I'm looking for swing trading, this whole area is continuation. In between, we have rejection. This whole area is continuation from here to here. In between, we have rejection. Some rejection is smaller than others. You see this? And I have a reason to show you this. Now, let's go back to the, to the view. This is continuation versus rejection, okay? Uh, and I'm trying to make it simple because, you know, you need to get uh, to understand it. You need to uh, focus 
and, and learn it before anything else, before you decide which one is continuation, because there's a process for this. There's a learning curve, which I will be there to help you day in, day out, okay? Let's go back to the this here. So now I will go back and I will show you what I look for. Now, when the market was moving in the past up and down, it created those levels for me, right? Continuation and rejection. This is this is continuation, continuation, another continuation here. And we're looking for a short. Just to let you know, I would have probably grabbed it long. And if, if anybody who is who is a member in my in my uh, group, they would know this was a rejection level. So this is continuation C, continuation C, continuation C, rejection R, rejection R. They knew I would have taken this long from here to here. But there's conditions as well, which I need to know my market makers levels but that's not the case let's let's say let's see how did you do versus how would i do you the market came here your first level was here you took it short now if you knew the market was within a continuation zone would you have taken it of course not it's continuation you don't know where your stop loss is stop loss stop is the most important thing that you could no, if I don't know my stop loss, I don't take a trade. I don't call a trade. So I would have saved myself a trade, right? Again, it came here, you took it short. Again, I would have not taken it because look at where it is. Finally, it came here and your next level was here, but this was my ideal short area. Now, am I ready to take a short? I am ready. Am I taking the short? No, because I'm anticipating the short, A. Now, the, what's the next thing? Is, is knowing my stop loss. My stop loss is within within the 68% of the next continuation. Of course, you have to 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 eyeball it. So basically, a bull market for for example. So basically, this is my stop loss. I know my stop loss here because when I call a trade, I first thing I say, if you see this, you'll you'll be amazed. Um, this is a call that I made. Uh, today I, I I I scrapped it. I said I'm not going to make it. But I said RTY stop losses are here if I call a short. You imagine I can I tell you the stop loss ahead of the call. It's stemming from here. So the market I know my stop loss, so I'm I'm set. My entry should be within this area. Now am I going in short? Not yet. Why? Because I'm looking for the C part confirmation. All of a sudden I, I'm here. I'm waiting for the market makers levels to pop up believe me if, if if there's intention to bring it down these magenta lines will pop up and this is when you know it's your confirmation you take it short you take your first target we do three contracts three contracts that's the thread you can do three micros three minis three standards it doesn't matter it's according to your account which that's something you can ask and, and improve on knowing it with the trial that you are with us then we take two contracts out but let's say I'm, I'm thinking there's a hiccup here we take it at let's say 20 20 ticks 20 ticks on on the first target t1 is on two contracts t1 is times two so if you took 20 ticks you just made 40 ticks 40 ticks so so you took 40 ticks profit your stop loss is let's say 25 ticks risk your, your runner is safe this could go to wherever it wants. And then of course, with time, whenever the market moves, I move the stop loss accordingly. I tell them, but it has to be a smart stop. Again, that's also something that you need to know later when you join us because 40 minutes, 45 minutes is not sufficient for me to explain everything. So you see how, how this works. It's simple, but of course it needs practice. It needs learning, etc. Now, let's go back. Uh, uh, Kevin, hey, Simon, love that posted CFTC issue on your website. Thank you, Kevin. I really appreciate your support, folks. 
Uh, I'm a trial member and love your honesty. Thank you. Your trade calls are amazing, accurate. I'm loving the live room. Uh, that's so so kind of you, Kevin. Appreciate it. Yes, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, today we I called the called uh, couple of uh, trades on the YM. They were good. Um, so let's go back to let's go back to uh, something that I want to show you. You know, I, I explained to you the 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 trading, right? I explained to you the A strategy. Let me show you uh, in 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 a live situation what happened. This is a telegram uh, uh, signal that I gave to everybody. I told everybody that the Dow, this is the Nasdaq, sorry. The Nasdaq is going up to this price. So from this price, you see the arrow, right? Everybody can see the arrow. From this price, it's going up to this price. You see it. So I'm looking for, I'm anticipating the Dow to go up. Let me move it for, this is a video, so you will understand it better. And you see, I posted here. At 8:47 a.m., I posted current NQ stops are below 41.20. So I already telling my members this is my stop loss below the lower blue line. You see the lower blue line? The lower blue line is where my stop loss is below that. So I know my stop loss. My entry is going to be between this this whole area. This is my entry level. Now the entry is is kind of if I go back to this. Let me erase this. My entry area is within a zone, but this zone is wide. Do I want to get in? Because sometimes the, the rejection area is wide. It, I can't help it. It's not me. It's the market. So what do I want to get in here or here or in the middle? I don't know until market makers show me the, the evidence. Where are they intending to take the market up? Very straightforward, right? So. I'm telling them this by numbers. Everything is here and students can see it. So I let me move forward. You see the market comes back down. Now watch, watch the market coming back down to the upper blue line, upper here, this is the NASDAQ. This was 150 points move, 150 points folks, not 150 ticks, 150 points, that's 600 ticks move. Watch this, watch this, boom. Do you see what happened? Do you see what happened? I have an arrow. It's a s s very small little indicator that I have. It's I, I don't rely on it, but I rely on the magenta. You see the magenta line or the pink line that showed up? That is my signal. And if you have this actual, because it's part of the package that you receive, if you have this indicator, if you are using CR charts, you don't even need me to call the trade. You have it, you see it, you just get in. And you see me typing the trade in. Yeah, I'm typing it. This is my entry. I said, I said, 10 take 10 points first target. Folks, 10 points on the NASDAQ, that's 40 ticks on two. We said first target is on it's on two contracts. That is 80 ticks. Immediately we made eight, uh, 80 ticks profit. And then we move the stop loss and it goes up, 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 and take this, take that, and tell them to move the stop loss higher. And then we move it higher. And then finally, eventually. The market goes up all the way. If you see this, look at the look at that. Look at that. You see the target? Okay. Uh, that's it. And that is what 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 makes us different. Anticipate, confirm, execute. It is really key. Let's see what I have. One second. Okay. Now, next. Today, this morning. This morning I had a, a Dow, uh, this is from now, from today, right? This is from today. You see the Dow, the, the, this, this, this is the Dow, the, uh, the middle chart. Hopefully you can see it clearly. You see this, the Dow? I see a line here. You see that line? You see this line? And I said at 9.53 today, March 2nd, you see March 2nd, I said, YM resistance at 33650, which is where the line is, just below the line by you know by a couple of ticks. And I and I I said I am watching uh, and I'm being careful. Okay. And I said I'm gonna call it or take it if I confirm it. Watch this. 
Watch this. This is from today. Look at that. Do you see the magenta line? Look, do you see the magenta line showing up? You see them, right, folks? You see them? Boom. Boom. See that? This is, see, Brad, he, he said he caught it from 50. You see that? Now, not only I did this, it went down 100 ticks and goes back up again to a new high, and I call it again. It goes for another 100 ticks again, down. Now, mind you, I did not benefit fully from it because, you know, it, it stopped my runner, but first target was taken, and then the runner, the stop loss was moved, and the, run, the runner was taken out. Today, we had a, a, a speech or a testimony by Powell, and he just basically screwed up the whole trend, and he just made the market go, go up. Regardless, we have taken first target, we moved the stop loss. Uh, sometimes it does not go according to plan, but again, the entry is important, management is important. You see how far it goes down in favor before it goes all the way back up, right? And now it goes back up again. Watch. Goes back up again. Here, watch this. Today, yes. I called it again from here, but uh, the, the typing, you see this here? I called it again. YM possible short again. I'm looking for 33760 for a stop loss. This is my stop loss. We're above here. Regardless, I called it twice, and this one goes for another 100 ticks down. This was a short from just above the line. You see this? 336, 33760, this is my stop. Again, I lowered it, lowered it down to, uh, I told them to take 20 ticks, lowered it down after, and then it goes and goes and goes down in favor. And then eventually after the speech or after the testimony, it goes back up. Just, just to, this is from today. I didn't want to choose, you know, uh, one of my best trades or whatever. This is, this is from today. See, so it goes up again. It did not take my stop. It comes back for another 100 ticks after that. Okay, so now let's go back. Let's go back to a couple of things on the website to show you. Here. On the website, uh, quick question after the trial. Do you offer payment plan? Yes, we do offer payment plans. We offer special entry, special uh, pricing as well. Uh, yes, we do. Um, if you look at if you look at the uh, website, there's a lot of information you need to be aware of, and uh, uh, the main thing is your free education. Uh, there is free education, and it's really really high end education. Please pay attention to it, uh, uh, which is uh, one of them is one of them is this one here, clarifying my trade calls on Telegram. What are my trade calls, and how do I, how do I how do you under, how do you understand them? If you join the trial, please watch this video. Um, there's also our main main indicators. What are they? What are the main indicators? This is a 50 minute video. Unfortunately, it's long, but it talks about every single indicator. I talked to you about the uh, market makers level, which is SAL indicator. I talked to you about. Um, the volume profile, but we have the RLs, we have power li power lines, etc. Another important uh, video it is crucial to watch, and unless you're getting married today, you really need to watch this video called Adult ADD and how it manifests itself in traders. This is made by Dr. Kenneth Reed for us and back in 2014 or 13. It's crucial. It's really good. Okay. Another thing is um, you go to the website. You go to YouTube channel, our YouTube channel. Uh, yesterday I called a trade. Remember, on my website, on my website, we advertise for here, 1,000 ticks every month. And uh, it, it, some people will say that's exaggeration. Well, it's really not. We've been averaging, except for December. I December I traded, I, I worked for the first 
12 days of December, then they took the rest of the month off. But December, I was down 500 ticks. But for a reason, I did not, I did not trade. I, I took a couple of uh, uh, trade that stopped me out. Uh, but every month we've been averaging 2,000, 1,500, 4,000, 3,000 ticks in the trade calls. And here's a few things that's an exaggeration. Uh, yesterday trade call, I called, I called a trade yesterday on, on all four indices. I focused myself on the uh, uh, NASDAQ and I focused on the Russell. The NASDAQ gave me 800 ticks runner, 800 ticks, just one runner. I'm not counting the first target, just the runner itself. I call it for everybody. It's right here. It has audio and has everything. Okay, you can see it. Okay, I called it, you will see it. That alone gave me 800 ticks, just the runner. With the, with the first target, maybe exceeded 1,000 ticks. The, the RTY, 400 ticks. So just in one day, we were able to catch the 1,000 ticks that we, were, we promised. That Now, that can everybody make it? No, if you're not available, and if you decide not to take that trade, then you miss it. I'm patient. I'm very patient. I don't take trades and I don't call trades and I, unless I know my stop loss and I know the probabilities. That's why I call this, uh, we call this webinar 10 times uh, probabilities because it's really uh, about probabilities, about what works in your favor better than uh, uh, just random trading, okay? Um, other things on the website, testimonials. Testimonials are important because these, these are not made up testimonials. You, still, you will see the same people in my, uh, uh, in my you will see them in, in my uh, membership. You'll see them in the elite members. You will see them in all the other channels. You can chat with them. You, took, you can talk to them, okay? Um, and you have a lot of testimonials here. Please pay attention to those. Uh, make your own decision, join the trial. And in the trial, please, I want you to understand that asking questions is key. Understanding what we do is key. What we do is not something random. It's uh, I've been doing this for a long time. So volume is, is key to trading. It's very important. Uh, so that's, that's one of the reasons why I focus on two weeks. You need to give it 100%. You need to pay attention. If you join me in a trial session, um, you need to email us so we can uh, send you the access and of course uh, you need to make time if you don't have time to understand or to benefit from the two weeks hold off I've seen mem people coming in because it's a free ex extremely ex exactly free nothing and we're not gonna ask you for any money for the trial and we're not gonna push any sales just because it's free people will ask for a trial right and then they will never show up i will show up for a couple of days they love it and then they just they they the, the next three four days five days or two weeks they are busy so if you're busy hold off maybe you can join when you're not busy okay because i'm i'm giving 100 percent. i expect you to at least you know be available with me which is i think it's very fair right um what else do i have As I said, we do three contracts. I call three contracts. Uh, one of them, uh, one of the targets is first target. We use first hiccup to get in, to get out of the first target. And that, that first target profit secures the runner, which means you are comfortable with the runner. Um, great value for the service. Uh, we have many things, many ways to, 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 to make sure that you, your, your, whatever you invest with us, it's paid 10 times, 10 folds more. For example, trade calls alone, the levels. Who would know? Who would know if I if it wasn't for the market makers levels that the crude? I anticipated the crude to go to 112 when it was at 90 dollars. That's 22 dollars move. 2,200 ticks move in about a few days. Who would anticipate that? And I actually called it. Okay, I said. Grab it long. 
I said, U.S. oil or crude, I see it's coming to 96.60 again, but I, I, you know, I don't have a specific stop. It came back to down to 96.60 that when it was over 100, $102, right? Like this. And then it went back up to 112, right? So it is important. It's really, really crucial to when you come, when you join us, be proactive, understand, and ask questions. Um, uh, and if you don't have time, as I said, just pick another day or a couple of other other time. And these are some pictures from the past I like to share. This is when I was 2006. My God, I was so young. 2006, this is local in Ontario, Brampton, Ontario. This is Mississauga. You see these two pictures. Uh, none of these guys is me. I am I'm the one who took the picture. So I had an assistant, I had a student. This these two, some of them are still with me, by the way. Okay. Um this is 2012, Denver, Colorado, USA. And these are from Vegas, Nevada. And as I said, as uh, Sherry mentioned, uh, I started in 2001. By 2004, I started my first class, but in 2006, I stopped doing those uh, uh, classes. I started doing online, okay? Uh, I have five minutes. I'm open for questions. Any questions? I'm here to answer questions. Uh, meanwhile, I will look for anything else membership um i we have different levels of membership kevin you were asking for membership at this time this is uh this is what we have we have you can do by the way if you the one don't want to switch to sierra charts uh, you just want to benefit from the trade calls and the live trade room that's fine i offer i offer the trade call only membership that's fine um, and we have live trade calls only without any education uh, this is the main this is the main package right here this is all inclusive one one payment for life right currently currently this is discounted huge for anybody who wants to join us for two weeks trial because it's it's valid until I think third week of of uh march uh this is discount i cannot even mention it it's very much uh closer to this at this time okay uh do you mainly trade futures i switched from i switched from forex i forex was the very start yes but then i immediately even then i i was doing futures now I still do Forex. I have, if you see my charts, good question. If you see my charts, um, let me erase this. Uh, you, I have, I have uh, Forex in the futures market, for example, Euro, which is, where is Euro? Where is my Euro? I can't see it. Maybe I'm tired. Here, this is Euro, right? And this is um, uh, US Swiss franc currency pair. See that? The currency pair. So I do both. Okay. Did you create? Yes. Yes. I, I, I mean, it's there. I just was able to pick the components and if I understand it because nobody was thinking, nobody thought about it. And it's been, I did it, I think about 2015, it's been seven years. I've been using it, using it six years. You're welcome, Sylvia. Yes. So yeah, um, two more minutes and uh, Sherry, you can uh, take over. I am done. Any final questions? Just want to uh, make sure that I thank everybody. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks uh, for the time. I um, really appreciate you being here, Simon. We, did we post your link that you wanted to send everybody to? Uh, just the website. The website has everything. TheTraderInstitute.com. 
Okay, cool. All right, we'll make sure that they get that. Guys, we're um, going to be, um, you'll be getting email from all the speakers today and uh, you won't be spammed, but everybody is going to follow up with you. So, you know, that's part of the deal. We're coming to an event like this where our speakers give of their time and their knowledge, and then they do send you uh, follow-ups to their offers. So uh, you can look for that probably Friday or Monday. And Simon, as always, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. I look forward again to the next time. All right. Let's just go to. I'm going to change to my screen. And I know that we have our next presenter waiting in the wings even now. And um, the, our next uh, speaker is going to be Joshua Banner of Real Life Trading UK. He's going to be talking to us about using technical analysis to identify the state of the market. And um, just to let you know who he is, he's a man of very few words. So you're going to have to hang on and listen good. And uh, um, Joshua is an entrepreneur, trader, coach. Uh, you you got to let Josh help you achieve financial independence. That's the bottom line with that. After 10 years as a tech CEO, Josh developed a moving average swing trade strategy that is simple and profitable. Welcome, Joshua. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much, Sherry. Uh, really excited to be here. My name is Joshua Banner from Real Life Trading UK and Europe. I'll go ahead and get a little set up here. All right. You should be able to share your screen. And I did Sherry, go ahead and make you an organizer so that you could uh, see the questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm assuming you can hear me just fine yeah. and you can see my screen as well. Yes. Now I do see your slide actual presentation, not the Correct. slide show. Correct. Okay. All right, cool. I'm going to be quiet now and you can take it away. All right. Thank you so much. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thanks for staying in towards the end of this webinar. And before we get things started, uh, I've been watching this whole webinar, really great stuff. And uh, I've also been sitting here just like you. So I want everyone right now, Sherry, this means you to stand up 10 jumping jacks, 10 push ups or 10 squats. I'm going to count them out right now real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We got to get the juices flowing, get the blood moving a little bit, because even though I'm the last presenter today, I'm going to be dropping, as sometimes we refer to it, knowledge from a fire hose. So let's try to keep up a little bit. Anyone who wants the slides afterwards, please shoot me an email. We'll talk about that at the end. And I'm going to be covering a lot of different stuff here. My goal for today is to give you some insight into the premium offerings that we have at reallifetrading.com and reallifetrading.co.uk. So what will we be talking about today? Generally speaking, we're going to be talking about using technical analysis to identify the state of the market. And this is something that I do every single week at Real Life Trading. Uh, I produce content around uh, technical analysis. I produce content around the state of the market. Of course, we have our disclaimer, and I do encourage you to read this uh, either now or at a later point. But generally speaking, uh, everything we're going to talk about today is education and not financial advice. And everything here is being provided for information purposes only. You accept that if you're going to take a trade with your own money, that you do so with all the knowledge that you're making the decision and that we are not advising you to take any specific trade today. So who am I? I'm a tech entrepreneur, CEO for the last 10 years. Uh, I ran one of the largest Amazon stores, $20 million in sales over eight years. And uh, after doing that for a long time, prior to that actually, I had spent time in medical school and getting my MBA. And I said to myself that uh, 
you know, I really wanted to be a person who was able to value their time more than money. And I wanted to make a change. Uh, I didn't like the position that I was in becoming potentially a physician. And I decided that I wanted to uh, have more time for myself, more time to travel, that I wanted to champion lifestyle. And so I founded an e-commerce company in a large Amazon store and eventually got involved with investing and trading, which led me to a passion of mine, which is financial literacy. And I became a co-founder of Real Life Trading in UK and Europe. I'm also a trading coach and mentor. And generally speaking, I'm a position and swing trader. I love to sell covered calls, especially on Apple. And if there's something that you wanna learn about more, we can talk about that later. And I'm a big fan of the 10 EMA day trade strategy, which we'll talk about a little bit later as well. So if you wanna learn more about me, you can go to shoutoutmiami.com and just search my name, Joshua Banner. This article just came out, a uh, really nice piece. Check out my great travel photos, learn a little bit about who I am, what I do, and what I'm passionate about. So Real Life Trading UK and Europe, uh, we are a group of individuals from all kinds of backgrounds. We're here to enrich lives, ladies and gentlemen. We are a financial literacy education company. Um, I am 36 years old. I was born in Florida. And like many of you who might be watching this who are around my age from anywhere in the world, you were not taught everything that you could have been taught about financial literacy, about investing in the market. Uh, real quickly here, did you know that if you put $1,000 into Apple in 2003 and did absolutely nothing and just let it sit there from 2003 to 2013, that your $1,000 would be worth $700,000. That's just a simple way to illustrate what we're talking about here, ladies and gentlemen, enrichment of lives through financial knowledge and education. And that's how we can get to a point of being financially independent. So who is RLT? We are a full on community, ladies and gentlemen, of hundreds of profitable part time and full time traders working in collaboration across the globe in all different continents linked together using a lifelong skill of trading for some of us to just make extra income. Other of us use it as our entire income. People use it to pay off debt, to take their husband or wife on a nice surprise vacation, to invest in the future for their children and ultimately achieve their version of financial independence. Some of you may be familiar with our founder, Mr. Jeremy Newsom here, the man in the suit with the large beard. And we are now taking all of the teachings of Jeremy Newsom to Europe, UK and beyond. But if you are watching this from anywhere in the world, please know that we welcome you. You are welcome to join our community and you will have access to all the various aspects of our community if you do choose to join. So what are we gonna be talking about today? Well, we had some really great presenters earlier talk about some different indicators and the role of divergence, which is super important. So I don't wanna harp on it too much, but I'm gonna take you live onto charts today during this presentation, and we are going to break down the state of the market right now, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. We have 40 minutes left till the close, and we're gonna talk about what's going on today and this week and beyond. Let's get a little bit of some background about the indicators and the divergences that we'll be talking about and looking for today. So top indicators that I like to use when analyzing the state of the market and trying to determine the overall trend. The volume profile, we saw a couple of speakers talking about that today. The Bollinger Bands were mentioned briefly and the RSI or the Relative Strength Index. So let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into each of those topics before we move into some charts. So the volume profile, generally speaking, we talked about that briefly with the last presenter. We can see here that it creates sort of these peaks and valleys. And we have these value high areas or these value area highs, if you will. Those are those larger spikes in the shadows that we can see here, VAH. And we have the lower areas. And these are areas where instead we are seeing not these volume shells or not these peaks. And finally, we have our point of control. This is our largest peak, or this is the area where the most buyers and sellers are in agreement. That's one way to think about the volume profile. We're looking at all the transactions sorted by volume at different price levels, and we're being shown graphically how, we're, how, how these transactions have played out in terms of where buyers and sellers are in agreement. The larger the volume shelf or the value area, the more buyers and sellers are in agreement, the more important that area becomes an area for, for, for potential support or distribution. The Bollinger Bands. The Bollinger Bands are a tool which utilize the 20-day simple moving average. You can find this on TradingView in just about any chart. And generally speaking, the Bollinger Bands create the 20-day simple moving average, as well as two lighter lines that show us two standard deviations from that average. And the Bollinger Bands capture about 90% 
of all market action. And there's a couple of different ways that we can use the Bollinger Bands. Generally speaking, we're using them in trending markets to make a determination if price crosses the Bollinger Band, what it's going to do next. And if we take a look here at these two arrows, we can see here that when price crossed outside the band, that price continued along the length of that band for several closes. And again, in this example here. Separately, we can see that when we have this squeeze, this consolidation, this narrowing of the bands, it gives us an indication that volatility has lowered or, or condensed for a period of time. And like that coiled spring concept mentioned earlier today, we're looking for a breakout or a breakdown in one direction or the other. And of course, if we can have increasing volume on either of those moves, that'll give us further confirmation. So the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, this is measuring uh, momentum or how quickly buyers and sellers are buying up or selling a security. It's measured on a scale from zero to 100 and readings below 30 are considered oversold while readings above 70 are considered overbought. And what we'll be looking for is the divergences that we talked about with the first speaker today. Those examples of bullish or bearish divergence, those examples of when we see price make a lower low, but the RSI makes a higher low, for example. And that's gonna be a really salient example that we can bring over to the market today. So let's take a look at some charts and really get into the nitty gritty here in the live action market. So here we are on TradingView taking a look at the S&P. And we can see here a number of different interesting aspects of what's going on in the S&P. And if you're looking to create your own version of market analysis, do your own state of the market, let me give you a quick little tutorial about how I set everything up for what we're gonna look at today. So right away, I wanna be looking at major indices. I wanna be looking at breadth indicators, and we'll talk about that some more. I also wanna be looking at futures, volatility, some aspects of the options chain, and then individual spider sectors, that's SPD, SPDR sectors. And so these are the different ETFs, and they don't always have to be spider sectors. I prefer actually this Van X semiconductor ETF, but we wanna be looking at sector ETFs for different areas of the market so that we can do an analysis of where everything is going within the markets, where we can see the fund flows moving. Because ladies and gentlemen, as much as we talk about risk on and risk off sentiment, the money doesn't just leave the market. The money doesn't just suddenly disappear from the market and everyone just suddenly sells, generally speaking. The money is moving around into different flows, into different areas of the market. And so what we wanna be paying attention to is where that is occurring. So first off here, we're looking at the S&P. What can we see? Well, on my chart here, the only thing I have turned on besides volume here, price, is our RSI and the MACD indicator here. And if we'll just ignore the MACD for the moment, but generally speaking, it's momentum-based indicator as well. And we can see here, price has made a lower low while the RSI indicator has made a higher low. An example of bullish divergence on RSI, exactly as was discussed a couple different times today. We can see that occurring today, exactly with the price action on the S&P. We take a look at the QQQ, which represents the NASDAQ 100. We can see the same thing. Price made a lower low, while the RSI made a higher low. All right, so we have this bullish divergence within the RSI and the main indices. Take a look at the Dow Jones, same thing. So next, we can see here, however, that the longer term intermediate trend on RSI continues to be down. We need to keep pay attention to multiple divergences within the market. Take a look at price action here. Price action made a higher high from the beginning of November to the beginning of January, while the RSI continued to make a lower high, negative positive, excuse me, negative RSI divergence. So as we can see, the longer term trend here is to the downside. And what does these negative divergences or positive divergences or divergences in general get us? They can get us a clue into the move before it happens. Take a look here, going back to November 8th here on the S&P, we can see that from that point forward, there was negative RSI divergence all the way to the point of the January 4th local top. And as a result, we were clued into the move before it happened. And just several days later, we saw a dumping of the market into a correction territory here. And we were clued in by that negative RSI divergence. 
and that loss of the midpoint on RSI, the 50 line here, which helps us get a clue as to the direction of the overall trend. So what are we seeing here on this indice over the last few months? We have a downward momentum trend, which finally has shown itself. We are most likely going to continue and we are guilty until proven otherwise. And we're starting to potentially see something that might prove us otherwise. We're looking at these small elements of bullish divergence. We're wondering if the buyers have stepped in here with this large bull candle and the significant volume that came with it and what's going to come next. So before we delve into individual sectors, what else do we need to consider when looking at individual areas of the market? We should look at the advanced decline line, or we can come over here and look at RSP, which is the equal weight ETF of the S&P 500, where every stock is exactly the same, or the QQQE, which is the equal weight NASDAQ. And this is going to give us a clue to the level of participation in the market. We can see here, for example, I prefer to use the advanced decline line, so it's a little cleaner. If we take a look at the advanced decline line, we can see here there are more decliners than advancers, especially relative to previous points around the time of the end of the year. And we can see there's just poor participation, whether it be in the S&P, in the Dow, in the NASDAQ, in the NASDAQ 100, the Russell 1000, et cetera. Really just seeing not fantastic participation from the breadth of the market. So we need to keep in mind that there's not a lot of participants holding up these overall indices. And we can see that negative divergence played out and we're in a correction, right? We have lower highs and lower lows. So the trend is to the downside. And there's a lot of factors indicating that to us, including the breadth of the market. Then I like to jump over here to volatility and take a look at the volatility of the market. We can see here on the VIX that we've been pushing higher here and we have not yet made that higher high. And please keep in mind that we are approaching a very important volatility event, the Federal Reserve meeting on March 15th and 16th. And so that's why I like to bring in other aspects of what's going on in the geopolitical and macroeconomic state into the analysis of the market because we need to be aware of these factors. In fact, it would be great if everybody went ahead to Google after this presentation, typed in CBOE, Options Expiration Calendar. Have this free calendar handy provided to you so that you can see when there are these periods of volatility, these options expiration periods that occur every single month. It's important to be aware of when these times are going on because there are flows that change within the market. And it's also important to be aware of some elements of the geopolitical circumstance. Obviously, we have a terrible situation of a war potentially erupting in Europe within Ukraine from the Russian invasion. But take a look at this chart that has been shared vastly on social media and even now being reproduced on news networks like Cabot Wealth here, where we can see that the encouragement is to buy the invasion as four out of five times it has produced a local low. And so it's important that we're aware of all the types of information that are being shared and what other traders are thinking about. Oftentimes, I like to look at the fear and greed index, another free tool, and take a look at where we are. We can see that we are at a level of extreme fear. Warren Buffett has also often said that you want to be a buyer when there's extreme fear and you want to be a seller when there's extreme greed. So we want to keep this in mind as a potential sign of contraindication. I also like to look, look at the sentiment survey of institutional investors. And we can see here the change in bullish, bearish, and neutral sentiment week by week. And we can see here we have a fair amount of bearish sentiment coming in on a most recent reading about where the state of the market will be in the next six months. But keep in mind that much like the fear and greed indicator, sometimes this can be viewed as a contraindicator. We need to reach those extreme points before the market can snap back like a rubber band. Just like a rubber band, the farther you stretch it out to those extremes, and then when you release it, the quicker and harder it will snap back. I also keep in touch and keep an eye on important aspects of the Treasury and the Federal Reserve, much like I mentioned this upcoming meeting in March and this March 15th and 16th. And we want to keep an eye on the 10 to 2 year Treasury yield spread because this is giving us an indication of where bond yields are. And we're looking to see if this is going to continue lower towards zero or invert, which has been a sign of a recession. 
And what the Federal Reserve is trying to do is to keep the situation under control. These are large macro factors, large flow-based factors, large governmental factors that affect the state of the market. And so we need to be aware of all of these aspects. Earnings. Earnings Whispers is a great place to check out earnings. I always have earnings ready to go. I have it in my trading, trading plan. And you should be developing a trading plan too. At Real Life Trading, we offer you free education on how to do so if you're interested in that. And you wanna make sure that part of your trading plan includes risk management. And we use a system at Real Life Trading called the R system, which you can learn about for free. If you just go to YouTube and type Real Life Trading, the R system, that's the letter R. And you wanna make sure that you're always including where earnings are for the companies that you're involved with, whether it's long swing, or even day trade sometimes, because we want to be considerate of earnings releases, which can potentially be gambling's events, gambling events. So we always want to know when they're recurring. So jumping back over here to the chart, we can see here that we do have this increased volatility that's been going on uh, at, since we've had the outbreak of this potential war and conflict within Ukraine and Russia. And we can see that that volatility is steadily increasing, leading into Federal Reserve notes that we had released today and leading into the Federal Reserve meeting. We can also see that if we take a look on our options calendar, that the Federal Reserve meeting happens to be occurring during the OPEX period or options expiration period and expiration period, generally speaking, creating enhanced volatility and or sometimes referred to a window of weakness. So would it be likely for us to see increased volatility moving into that event, followed by decreased volatility, often as we do with these volatile events? Absolutely. The VIX is designed to trend down and these spikes in the VIX that occur from volatile events, when they pull back, once the event volatility is resolved, are often accompanied by some rallies in the market. Let's take a look at the put call ratio. Generally speaking, these levels in the put call ratio are considered very bearish, bearish, bullish, or very bullish. At the moment, we're sitting just beyond the midpoint into the slightly bearish area. And so we don't have any extreme readings on the put call ratio measurement of options taking because we want to keep in mind that the options market and the flows within the options market affect the underlying assets, the equities. Take a look here back on January 24th, an extreme reading on the put call ratio. And as a result, we had more volatility within price action. We want to also be looking at currency, looking at the dollar, taking a look at important support and resistance levels and trend lines here. We can see this overhead resistance point on the dollar, this false breakout, this triangle breakdown. And speaking of triangles and indicators, you know, we very much encourage you at Real Life Trading to be a student of the market. Make the trade your own. Learn everything that you need to know about the market. Don't just follow gurus blindly. Don't follow signaling software blindly. Make sure you understand the market. That's why we put out this weekly analysis and we teach you how to do everything for free, ladies and gentlemen. So the currency here we can see on the US dollar is once again retrying that important support resistance level and is currently throwing in an element of rejection. So could we see something like this reversal pattern here, this evening star reversal where we saw price run up, indecision and price come down? Well, if you wanna learn more about the evening star reversal pattern, just go to YouTube and type in real life trading evening star reversal pattern. And we want to, of course, like take a look at commodities like gold. And we can see here that gold has broken out from a long-term overhead resistance level going back all the way since January of 2021. But our RSI is reaching a level here of being overbought. So generally speaking, we don't want to chase this move because our RSI is at this level. We want to wait for those healthy pullbacks, and then we can enter trades in different areas of the market. So how do we make a determination when we're looking at these different ETFs, whether it be the gold ETF or the semiconductor ETF or the financial sector ETF about what stocks to find to trade? Or do we trade these ETFs in general? Well, we could trade these ETFs, but personally, I believe that it's better to trade the individual names because an ETF is a bucket of names. And as a result, there's even more variables. So don't make it more difficult on yourself than it needs to be. Keep trading simplified, keep it as easy as possible, stick to high quality, good setups, and focus on the educational aspects and lean into what you're good at. 
So if we're looking here, for example, at the energy sector, XLE, we can see here that this has been one of the better performers since the beginning of the year. We can see here, and I, I did fail to mention this earlier, these colored lines on the chart are our moving averages here. I have uh, the 5, the 10, the 20, the 50, the 100, the 150, and the 200 here. And we can just take a look at these, excuse me, I actually don't have the 150 on here, I have that one removed. And we can take a look at these moving averages and we can see when we see short-term moving averages above long-term moving averages, especially when we see something like this right here, when we see those moving averages start to fan out with short-term moving averages above long-term moving averages and the slope increasing, that's when we know that a potential bullish trend is forming. And we can see here that during bullish trends, we have healthy retests of those moving averages where we continue to make higher lows and higher highs. And the trend continues here within the energy sector. <clears throat> so something to keep in mind, do we just wanna blindly buy the energy sector? Well, no, we can see here elements of divergence again. We can see here that RSI made equal highs while price made higher highs. That's an element of negative divergence. And as a result, we did see that pullback, but the Ukrainian Russian situation driving oil higher, RSI once again approaching an overbought level and we, it remains to be seen what occurs within this sector over the coming days and weeks. But if price action does not drive ex extraordinarily higher, we can see here once again an element of negative RSI divergence poking out. Take a look here, live here on the chart, as price action makes that higher high within the energy sector, but RSI fails to do so at the moment. So what does that tell us? Well, we want to dig into these sectors. We can go over here and type in XLE holdings for the sector and take a look at the companies that comprise the sector. ExxonMobil, Chevron, EOG Resources, Schlumberger, for example. So we come back to the chart and we look at these individual stocks. We look to see where those potential setups are. We look to see the differences, take a look, significant difference we're seeing here on the chart of Chevron versus ExxonMobil. And we then dig into these individual names after we identify the areas of the market that make sense to take potential trades in. So when we're looking at the energy sector and we see negative divergence, that gives us a little bit of hesitation, but we wanna just make sure that we're finding high quality setups, that we're looking potentially for pullbacks, that we're keeping in mind where earnings are, and we don't want to chase the move and we don't want to be buying at the top when we see indicators like RSI showing us overbought or versions of divergence. So if we dig into these individual different sectors here, whether it be consumer discretionary, XLY, or the Spider Select Fund for Consumer Staples, XLP, we can see here that the charts are not the same. Let's pull up a chart once again here of the S&P and just take a quick gander at the shape that we're seeing here, right? Generally speaking, we have a market that is moving like that. It is in a downtrend making lower highs and lower lows. However, if we come into different sectors, we can see some sectors look the same. Some sectors are even more exaggerated but are still making lower highs and lower lows and are in a downtrend. Some sectors are very much not in a downtrend and are currently making higher highs and higher lows. And we can move all throughout the different sectors here, which will help us get a clue about where the money's moving. Where are the institutional investors, the smart money investors moving their funds around? And whether we move into areas like utilities here or the materials sector, industrial, Healthcare, there is a spider sector or similar ETF to represent just about any sector. We can go over here to the cybersecurity ETF by Global X and take a look here at this trend line breakout. This is an area that's received a lot of attention since the cyber attacks that have been increasing with the situation in Ukraine and Russia. We can see here on our RSI, we have elements of divergence again, giving us that clue. Price here made an equal low while RSI 
made that higher low. So that's that positive RSI divergence. And take a look at that positive RSI divergence that occurred on February 23rd. If you had noticed that on February 23rd, you could have gotten in on the retrial of this pivot low support level and captured this move approximately 18 and change percent. Or if you were more conservative, you could have noticed this important trend line or resistance level and waited for a breakout from that level or a breakout and a retest of that level and purchase within this candle. And that RSI would have clued you into currently a 7.5% gain just within five days. So these types of divergences poking out in the market right now, ladies and gentlemen, as we speak in this live market are super key to cluing us in to well, what's going on. Is there a change of trend? Is there a change of momentum? We can look around into all different sectors of the market, and this works whether it's on the individual sectors or cryptocurrencies as well, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look here at Bitcoin or Ethereum. We can see here price action, in fact, did not make the lower low, and RSI as well did not make the lower low. And so we have this element of momentum. We don't have divergence here because they're the same, but we can see here that we do have this sort of downward trend on relative strength and we're starting to see a little bit of an element of a squeeze here starting to see price action trying to retry these important moving averages trying to move beyond this overhead resistance trend line we can see here similarly on the chart of ethereum for example a similar situation we're starting to see potential relative strength come into the move. And so we want to use all of these tools to build the narrative of the market. We want to use just a few indicators here that indicate to us momentum and strength and help us understand the state of the market along with our moving averages. So when we look at Ethereum here, for example, we can see that prices below or interacting with the 50 day moving average, this yellow line, but is below the 200 day moving average, this blue line or 100 day moving average, pushing lower our 50 pushing lower so our longer term moving averages are downward sloping and therefore we are in a downward trending market and we want to keep that in mind that the predominant trend is therefore down and if we're taking day trades or short-term swing trades that we want to have a bearish bias for the moment generally speaking unless we can identify elements of divergence when we can start to el uh, exhibit elements of divergence and we can see it all over the market here's apple stock live take a look at this lower low on price and this higher low on rsi when we can identify these elements of divergence and then we can see price action beginning to interact with important moving averages short-term and longer-term moving averages we can start to make a consideration as to whether or not the trend is changing when we see short-term moving averages go below long-term, the trend is down. And when we see short-term come back above long-term, the trend is up for the short to intermediate term. Now, when we start to see our moving averages fan out from periods of consolidation, much like we're seeing in this example here, when we have those upward sloping short-term averages fanning out, getting larger and farther away, from those other moving averages indicating us that the slope is growing exponentially that the slope is widening that's the indication to us that the trend is establishing itself the momentum is there and in that instance to the upside so we put all of this together and we do this every week at real life trading along with many 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 other aspects and we put together an analysis of the market so that we know where to look for opportunity and so whether we're going in here to, for example, the utilities ETF and noticing this element of divergence. We can see here RSI made an equal low, even though price made the lower low. So we come over here and we can look at the holdings of XLU. We can start by looking at some of the larger ones like Dominion Energy or Exelon Corp. And we go and take a look at the chart and we look at these individual stocks to see if there's some opportunities here. 
we see here for example on dominion energy we have a hammer candle here at support and if you want to learn about hammer candles you can learn about that and everything else for free on reallifetrading.co.uk we offer free curriculum we'll talk about that a little bit more in just a moment and we can see here that price action has moved back above pardon me moved back above short term and longer term moving averages and shorter term moving averages like this purple one the five this gray one the 10 are pushing higher here and crossing back above longer term moving averages along with the rsi retaking 50 here starting to give us the potential indication that there may be a move brewing because we saw that divergence on the sector now we don't see that divergence on this individual name so maybe we want to dig around a little bit more for a name within that sector that is explaining that is displaying that divergence so if we take a look here for example at chevron well we can see here that the chart is actually quite bullish and we don't want to necessarily chase this move but we can see here that we have this fanning out of the moving averages and we can see that chevron is very supportive in the bullish direction and the rsi could stay overbought for an extended period of time longer than we can stay solvent if you will so we don't want to chase the move here if we dig around into other areas of the holding for good opportunity, maybe we look at Schlumberger. We can see here that price action has elements of negative RSI divergence. Price made a higher high, RSI continues to make lower highs. And so we start to think maybe this name is going to have a breakdown. Take a look at these short-term moving averages coming down onto longer-term moving averages. Let's bring in our volume profile. We can see here our point of control way down below. We can see here our value area here, showing us that if buyers and sellers are not in agreement here, we have a large amount of area here where they're not in agreement. So price could move very quickly through that area to areas where they're more in agreement. Let's take a look at the example of the same on the S&P. We can see here price action is interacting with that point of control, this thick orange line, and coming right up against this 200-day moving average, really important support and resistance levels. This is how we use the volume profile to clue us in to where buyers and sellers are in agreement and where there's potential areas that they're not. We can see here on the NASDAQ, the point of control, for example, is above, and that's going to act as an important resistance level. We can see here the 50-day moving average is coming down towards the 200-day moving average. Do we think that this is going to be a really important level where buyers and sellers may eventually transact and potentially an important resistance point since we're in a downtrend? Absolutely. If we take a look here at the Dow, let's bring in our final indicator here, the Bollinger Band. The Bollinger Band shows us, as mentioned previously, the 20 simple moving average and two standard deviations. So when we see price action move below the Bollinger Band, for example, like it did here, it oftentimes will walk along the Bollinger Band until we see an indication otherwise. In this case, a hammer candle, an indecision high wave candle, and then we pushed just above it, closed within some consolidation and a retest of the midpoint. One of the rules of the Bollinger Band is when we have a walk along the Bollinger Band and a close that brings us back inside the Bollinger Band, we often retry the midpoint of the Bollinger Band. And so we can use this to help us clue into momentum and trend and where price may go next. When we see price move below the Bollinger Band but close back within it, we start to think it's more likely for price to retry the midpoint of the Bollinger Band at the moment than it is to retry the lower part of the Bollinger Band. And when price is contained within the lower channel, like here, we expect it to continue within the lower channel. And if price breaks above the midpoint, we expect it to continue within the higher channel. So we put all of these tools together here to help us give a technical analysis and a breakdown of the market. And we teach you how to do this yourself, but we also put out weekly content about this every single week. If you're interested about learning more about real life trading and what we do and how to be part of our community, you can check us out on YouTube. Our Real Life Trading UK uh, videos are all available. You can also take a look at our recent back trading and strategy seminar. If you just go into YouTube and type 
RLT UK strategy session. We're going to teach you here five proprietary in-house profitable strategies, including the 10 EMA day trade strategy that I mentioned earlier. This is one of our most popular and profitable and simple, repeatable pattern-based strategies for day trading. If you want to learn how to day trade in a safe and controlled way where you manage your risk and you have a good risk reward setup with rules and a trading plan every single time, join our community. Start with the 10 EMA day trade strategy. Your chart will just have one indicator on it you will have a set rules a set of rules and conditions that will help you watch this video on YouTube RLT UK back trading strategy session learn about this strategy for free check out our parent company real life trading over 50,000 satisfied subscribers fantastic other videos if you come into YouTube type in RLT 10 EMA if you want to learn more very succinct short helpful 10 EMA seven minute video here, 10 EMA strategy explained. If you wanna join our, our online community, please take a look at all the fantastic offers that we have at very affordable pricing with a 14 day free trial. Reallifetrading.co.uk is our website. Every single day we are putting out information for you. We have an investment club on Monday's live Zoom room. I teach Tech Tuesdays on Tuesday with technical analysis. Wealth Wednesdays breaks down stock fundamentals, market traps, and option setups. We teach you how to program your own algorithm on Thursdays using Sierra Chart. On Forex Fridays, Coach Malone crushes the market with trend line strategies. We give you access to coaching and mentorship with all of our profitable traders one-on-one. -on -one. In fact, if you sign up, we offer a 14-day free trial. If you sign up for either a six-month membership or a yearly membership, you're getting a free coaching session or three free coaching sessions. This is one-on-one -on -one coaching directly with the trader. Don't underestimate that ability. Don't just buy a piece of software. Don't just wait for signals on Twitter. Get into a community that has a free, massive amount of curriculum. Ladies and gentlemen, when I became a trader myself, I went through all the different communities and I was a member here of Real Life Trading before I became a mentor and coach. Beginner trading, intermediate trading, futures trading, intro to swing trading, Forex basics, how to back trade, Fibonacci, candlesticks, trading gaps, day trade strategies, swing straight, swing trade strategies, the 10 EMA strategy, all for free, hours and hours and hours of curriculum. You will get access to our Slack channel where everyone globally is sharing their setups all day long, including our administrators and mentors posting official day trades all day long that you can participate and review the charts as well. Options trades, swing trades, advanced option strategies, discussion of the news, algorithmic trading, everything that you can imagine that you want to learn is available to you via our Slack, via our Discord, via our massive amounts of free curriculum, via our mentorship groups and our coaching. We have a two-week free trial. We would love to see you sign up as a member of Real Life Trading UK and Europe. If you're not a European or a member of the UK, don't let that stop you. We welcome anyone. As you can see here, it's free resources, a free trading journal, self-study courses. We set you up with a true curriculum that includes printable PDF workbooks, reviews, exams, certificates. We have small group mentorship, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and the global support network. Do not underestimate what it's like to sit down with other traders, discuss trades, review trades, analyze trades, have that confidence boost. We do meetups with our traders all over the United States and around the world in different cities in Europe, Australia, Asia, the Scandinavia, and India. We offer tons of free resources, as I already mentioned, from everything from investing and long-term trading to fundamental analysis, day and swing trading, options and stocks, algorithms, forex and futures. You can join us for a 14-day free trial at reallifetrading.co.uk slash subscription. Don't forget you're getting complimentary coaching sessions if you sign up for some of our longer-term memberships. Our yearly membership is only 50 pounds a year, and you can easily make that back in just one single trade. We will teach you how to manage risk. We will teach you how to collect and protect profits. We have all sorts of enthusiastic members and events for the entire month of March. March, we'll be focusing on female tra traders as part of Women's Month. 
focusing on women in finance and putting together special challenges where you can win merchandise, special challenges and guest contributors. We are going to have a free week in April. That's right, for an entire week, everything free. You can sign up for it at reallifetrading.co.uk slash free dash week. You're going to get access to every single daily live premium Zoom room for free, Slack, Discord, all of the curriculum, dozens and dozens and dozens of hours of curriculum. We're going to be throwing a in-person, educational, affordable traders retreat on the coast of Croatia this summer. We hope you will join us there. More info coming soon about that event. Come meet worldwide, fantastic, wonderful entrepreneurs and traders. Trade together, make money together, educate and become financially independent together. My name is Joshua Banner. I'm the host of Real Life Trading UK and Europe's Tech Tuesday. You can reach me at joshua at reallifetrading.com if you have any questions, any concerns. If you're on the fence, reach out to me and I'll do a free coaching session for 30 minutes with you. And let's talk about how we can actualize your next steps. Let's talk about financial independence. Let's talk about improving your trading. Let's talk about your education journey. If you're interested in getting involved with Real Life Trading, I hope you'll reach out. And I would love to go ahead and answer any questions at this time. And, Joshua, uh, will you put your email back up again one more time? Oh, absolutely. That's Joshua at reallifetrading.com. Anyone who's interested? Yes, yes, at dot com, because we are the global company of real life trading, and uh, I'm the Perfect. representative of our European and UK division. But as I mentioned, right. we welcome all traders, and we have fantastically low special opening prices for our European division. Everyone who joins Real Life Trading UK and Europe is getting full access to the USA as well. Just about every single aspect and anything that is not included in your membership can be added as a premium resource. Specifically, one aspect that is not included with the European membership is the live daily day trading Zoom room. But you are getting access to all of those exact same day trading uh, signals, those exact same trades, I should say, all of them are posted live every single day in this Slack channel with the breakdown if you want to take them. And if you would like to join us live for the actual discussion and analysis of all of those day trades, that can be added to your dashboard as a premium resource. We have here all sorts of premium resources, additional live content and advanced content hedging with options, mentorship groups. There's even a private Mediterranean cruise going on this summer as well for advanced Ooh. traders. That, that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, guys, we try, we everybody. Try to be a big inclusive community. Yeah. Okay, so if anybody has any questions, we're right at the end of the of the afternoon. Um, are you in the UK? I am actually based between Spain and Miami, and go back and forth. Okay. And uh, we have traders all cool. over Europe and the US. Okay. So you don't even know what time it is where you are. <laughs> Well, at the moment, it's 4 p.m. Eastern, just wrapping things up okay. here. And, uh, thank you, Traders Exclusive, for having us here and allowing us to talk oh, about real-life trading. Well, thank you for coming. I appreciate it, and I hope you will come and join us again. And um, if anyone has any questions, now's the time to ask them, And because we still have quite a few people in the room. And if you guys have any questions for Joshua, it's now or never, or... Not really, never, because you can email him directly. And you can also go to reallifetrading.co.uk forward slash subscription and see what everything is all about. And, of course, we're going to follow up with you by email. So um, it'll be all right. It'll be totally fine. I'm in Florida as well right now. But I'm usually always on the Eastern Time zone. So it's... Uh, I'm glad you didn't have to stay up until the middle of the night to do this. 
Oh, either way, I would be happy to. You know, we're about en enriching lives and making friends and winning together. You know, I come from a world that was very competitive in e-commerce. And one of the best things about being a full-time trader is the people that you meet who are taking leaps and bounds, who are breaking through their fear, who are quitting their jobs and becoming full-time traders oh, and saving yeah. for their family and making their dreams come true. That's fantastic. Well, we really appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and take away the screen and we're going to wrap it up today thank you so much again for being with us and uh, and i do hope you'll come again thank you thank you all right everybody it's that time of day hey where's my screen let's just see something here hmm okay what do you see? Nothing. Oh, maybe that's because I, something got killed. All right, just a second, guys. Guys and ladies. And we're going to go. Uh, that was Joshua Banner with Real Life Trading UK. And I'm now going to share my screen one last time and tell you this has been a presentation of tradersexclusive.com. Oh, and I keep, well, there we go. You knew I could do it. I decided to live, I think I had the big C and it took me a long time to get over it. So I'm still about 99%. Again, this is Sherry, I'm your host and I really thank you for being with us for the Traders Exclusive Live Strategy Series. Check us out on twitter.com forward slash options underscore info. Also go to tradersexclusive.com and you'll see news, education and trade ideas, including the replay of this video of this webinar um, and come and join us again on March 16th. It's gonna be Ladies Day. We'll have Rick Sadler with us. He's the only guy on the program that day. We're gonna have Rick and we're gonna have Marina Villatoro and we're going to have um, Melissa Armo and Tony Hansen will be with us. So join us then guys. Thanks so much and uh, from me and all of the Traders Exclusive team, we're saying so long and trade well.